Hello, everyone. Hello, Ox. G'day. How you doing? Nice good to man. see you. Welcome back. Yeah, good. Good. Thank you. Nice to be back into logging league and uh, starting off season two. It is. It is indeed. Um, we are back eight rounds tonight with uh, yes, some exactly. old friends, but also some new players as well. Hmm. Yes, there is. And obviously some changes to how logging league is all going to work for season two. Yes, which is indeed. exciting as well. It is, yeah, completely overhauled the way we're going to do it. We're going to go back to, well, what would you call it, Alex? Back to, back to, back to traditions or back to basics, aren't we? Yes, that's, that's it. Now I'm getting told I've got no sound. Why have I got no sound? Uh, they can probably hear you, but not me. Let's have a look. It's I typical, will... isn't it? I'm going to check. Can everybody hear Alex in my, uh, in my stream? Yeah, no, no. I figured out what the problem is. All right. There we go. Let's see. No, it hasn't fixed it either. Ah. Typical, isn't it? Uh... Typical indeed. Right, I'll mute Args while he's sorting his sound out. Hello, everyone. Nice to see you. Um, great to have you all here. This should be quite good fun. We're looking forward to this. I'll let Args sort his, uh, his stuff out. And... Uh... And then we can, yeah, we could hear him here. I don't think he could hear it on his stream. So something, I think it's just tweaking something at his end. So we'll let him sort that out quickly and then we'll get started. So yeah, as we were saying, um, I'm listening to Args as well in the background here. As I was saying, we've kind of gone back to basics here a little bit. We're, uh, we're ditching the containers and we're going back to good old fashioned load your trucks. So it kind of opens up a little bit more jeopardy. A few... I guess more unknowns, a few more anomalies. So there's a few other challenges. I'll wait for Argosy to come back and um, we'll talk about it in detail. Right, we're good. Let's turn Args back on. Isn't he says just, he's good. I, we can hear I, you, I think Args. I'm good. Yes, I'm getting bars and everything like that. I just need someone in chat to say, yes, we can hear you. All ah, right, good. Yes, Tate's got me. Cool. All right, we're in. Excellent. <laughs> uh, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be a uh, Would it be a logging leak without achieving problems, right? That's right. That's it. That's it. Right, so, okay. Uh, what do you want to go through first? Yeah, I was just saying we've kind of gone back to basics a little bit. Um, and we're talking about basically the fact that we've we've introduced a little bit more randomness, a little bit more jeopardy. The fact that um, instead of loading containers, so we know there's a maximum number of, of, of logs you can put into a container. Now they're just going to be loading logging trailers. They're capped at 10 minutes. And if you go over the 10 minutes, the penalties are so so high that it's uh, it's probably not worth it i mean you can creep over by a few seconds but actually beyond that i think uh, uh you, you are shooting yourself in the foot a bit aren't you so um it's going to be interesting yeah it will be it will be very interesting um and we've updated the timer that we have in the top corner and uh have. got that all set up now so you will see that that will count down from 10 rather than counting up like it was previously uh, that's right get to yeah. that zero and then the penalties will apply so it'll be interesting so you can, to see how the team's time it'll it will it will and you can run over by two minutes can't you um and like i said the penalties are pretty high for that but after two extra mm. minutes you are disqualified effectively yes it'll be yeah. a dnf because we uh we when we did our test event people just ign <laughs> completely <laughs> ignore the, the time <laughs> yeah so we've made it a little bit more challenging from from that perspective, but uh, mm. it's going to be good fun, I think. It should be. I'm just having a few login issues with uh, a couple of the players for Team Modern Logging. So the first matchup is Power Team Esports versus the Logmeisters. I did say Team Modern Logging, but it's the Logmeisters. That's right. I'm going to pull this up here. So Power Team Esports. That's Valo, El Papito, and Jeremy Agri, who uh, is new this year. Obviously, Valo and El Papito back from last time. And the Logmeisters, mm. Tobias, Schiffelmeister, and Faban, you will probably remember from Season 1 as well. So nice to see them back. So, yes, absolutely. And we'll be going straight from this game into a second team match, which will be the Pinnacle Loggers versus Modern Logging, which will That's be good. Right. So we've got five teams entered in here at the moment. Uh, Astragon are our fifth team for tonight. And uh, I think we've actually got a sixth team who weren't available tonight. So we'll That's right. see them in some future rounds. I'm going to talk about the map arcs quickly, and uh, the, we've got four locations on the map. Yeah, of course we can. I'll just bring the map up, and we can have a look at that. So we are over on the, <clears throat> excuse me, on the bottom left corner, uh, 
instead of going up to the cell point up the top, which is what we used previously, the sawmill, Hamish has actually created a couple of cell points. One down the bottom here, uh, which is the control coaster, and then one up here, here off on the right, which is the gas station. So you can actually watch the match when you're going. And then you can see it's got a process. So you've got equipment up here. Uh, that's one of the match points. We've got some in the middle here, and then some over here on the right. So. That is uh, how things are shaping up. I've got a frog in my throat. <laughs> no way to speak about the French. I mean, you can try. <laughs> right, so first game we are just waiting for. I think uh, Faban is uh, just getting organised, uh, logging in, and then we will get started. But as we said, we've not marked out. So in the last series, or the last, last uh, um, season, um, we we accurately measured out playing areas, hadn't we, Ox? But now it is just a free for all with the with the trees that are on the map, which again will add another little level of um, add another little level of uh, intrigue and interest. I think. Right. <clears throat> yes, that's it. Hundred percent. Now Hamish is just saying in chat that we're going to move and skip heat one to start with. We're actually going to jump across to heat two. That pinnacle loggers versus modern logging. Just to give Faban a chance to try and log in. That's so right. We'll so we'll find where they are. We'll jump over to a different start point over here. But that uh, Pinnacle Loggers is our is our winners, indeed, from last uh, season. Gegarino Gaming yes, with James and Sharp Farmer. And they'll be playing Modern Logging, who uh, I think, again, gave a pretty good showing in season one. So they're back for more. They're back for revenge. That's right. That's right. I see a few comments in your chat that my mic sounds weird. That might be a Discord connection issue. So, just have to. Uh, Args is breaking up a lot. That's interesting because I can hear you nice and clear. Args is underwater. Mm. <laughs> it is strange that if you can hear me. You're crystal nice and clear in my, in Discord, should, in my ears. You're crystal. Yeah, that's strange. Uh, <laughs> strange. They're saying you sound like you're underwater, but I think they might be just having a dig <laughs> at you. Yeah, it might be a bit of a. <laughs> I say a piss take there. <laughs> All right. I think it might have been my voice, honestly. I, it felt like it was going to pop there for a second. So, oh, for Barnes here. So, what are we going to do? We'll just wait for Hamish to tell us what we're going to do here with this match. But this is, uh, this is uh, staging point two. You'll see this a few times in this, uh, in this stream. But as you can see, um, they've allocated their equipment uh, ahead of the start of the stream so they've picked the equipment that they want to use um, the trucks are parked elsewhere on the map so the truck drivers will have the opportunity to drive those over whilst they start cutting things down but it is i'm, I'm looking forward to this i'm excited to see uh, how people are going <clears> to <throat> handle this it's going to be good it will be will be always has been always has been a fun fun adventure to see what goes on so indeed we'll indeed to see uh, we've got confirmation right. your voice sounds better now, Ox. You must have had a little oh, bit of good. a little bit of a lag spike or something. Yeah, that's good. Welcome along, everyone who is in chat, both in mine and FSG streams. Of course, uh, if you want to see from different perspectives, we always suggest bring both streams up, mute one, and have them open side by side, and you can kind of get both angles because often we'll cover different things. One of us will follow a truck to the cell point. It'll be interesting, actually, because with the time to nature of it, we should see uh, teams kind of mirroring each other maybe a little bit more or one gambling on having a chance to load one extra log in and still have time to get there. So That's right. So I think It's going to be a little bit different. You're right. I think there'll be a lot more watching of other teams and what other teams are doing and, and reacting almost real time to to make sure that uh, crossing the line first is, is going to be... It's going to be quite high up the agenda because, yeah, how many... Mm. It's going to be interesting yeah. to see how many trees difference there will be. That's right. We just don't know how this it's is going to go, eye. if I'm being honest, do we, Ox? This could be... Uh, no, not really. This is kind of a complete reset. So we'll, yes. it will be good. It will be good to see. Yes. All right, we're just waiting for confirmation of which match we're going to have and uh, which teams we're going to be running with. Um, but I just wanted to acknowledge Carl TG Modding is in chat now. He's made quite a few forestry-based maps, and I think we've got a couple of them on the list of potential maps we might do the future rounds in. So that's another change for this season. We're not going to be on Silver and Forest the whole time around. We are uh, going to jump around between different maps just to provide a bit of uh, different context, different 
we'll freshen things up for each round. So yeah, uh, we have a list of I think we had about twenty maps that we'd shortlisted, and we will go through and pick those for the next three or four rounds. Right, we're going back over to we're going to start with Heat One, Ogs. Right, we're doing an aerial tour of uh, Silver <laughs> Forest. Right, teams are ready. You can see uh, Valo and Obelix there, and Faban and Tobias ready to go um truck drivers are elsewhere on the map but they will be making their way down to here so this is our staging area and like i said they've got the choices of where they go from here there are no predefined number of trees or little areas where they can work they have the whole map available to them so um they didn't know that before tonight so it's uh this is new to them so there's been no uh, training there's been no pre-season training or anything like that so uh uh, that shall add another element of intrigue as well, I think. Yeah, you're 100% right. It's uh, going to be interesting to see where they go. There's obviously more space, but there's the uh, trade-off is how far do you drive to kind of try and get trees? Do you pick out the biggest ones so you're cutting down less trees and trying to get the uh, better quality wood on the back of the truck? There's a whole lot of uh, different parameters, I suppose, that are going to play out with this. That's right, that's right. Uh, a couple of thank yous as well, Args, I think, while uh, while we're waiting as well. We should uh, say a mm -hmm. big thank you to Hamish, shouldn't we? Uh, again. Uh, oh, 100%. Yep. Bossing it in the background, keeping everything yes. ticking over. It's an incredibly difficult job and a lot of moving parts, and he does a he does a great job with it. So big shout-out yep. uh, to Hamish. And the other one is a big shout-out to uh, the guys at Thrustmaster who are back to support us for a second season with prizes. So uh, thank you, Thrustmaster, as That's well. That's right. Yeah, on they they haven't quite given me a partnership, but uh, I'll <laughs> take just having their support here for for the logging league. But uh, that was pretty cool for for you to get that. Congrats, mate! It's, Thank uh, you, mate. It was awesome no. as well. But yes, nice to have them back here for uh, for twenty twenty four. Indeed, too. Right, um, we're we underway. Go. We're logging. We are go. So let's see what happens so, here. That's right. Now you should see the timer has started in the corner of our screens. And we're going to see Faban heading off and Valo heading off in at the log machines to get going. Now, interesting, I haven't really commented on it, but Tobias has got a forwarder there instead of using anything else. So, uh, be interesting to see how their logging goes. And we've already had a little bit of a battle over the first tree. Indeed, indeed, yeah. Interesting tactic, The uh, having the loader there. The Power Team Esports. That's right. Look. I found a little space there that, yeah, everybody went for the same tree, typically. All the trees on the map, That's right. they picked the same one. That's it. But uh, as it is, Power Team Esports have cut down the first tree, even if it is a smaller one than the one for Barn is trying to cut down. And he has got that taken down and taken care of now as well. So so I'm interested, with Tobias in that in that uh, loader there, obviously they've got trucks to take them to the cell point. I don't know what the top speed of that, uh, that Rotney is, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be as quick as a truck, so... Are they just going to use that arm no, as right. a loader, or are they going to load the... I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued as well. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I'm also interested to see how the teams handle the log lengths. Do they try and cut to the sort of optimal length, uh, or do they just try and log, load as many logs as possible at a longer length and have them hanging over the back of the trailer? Yeah, yeah. You know, more volume, but uh, maybe slightly different. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember the optimal. I think it's six... Uh, Six meters is yeah, the around six meters. Process, yeah, yeah, somewhere around there. Tobias looking very adept already there with loading those uh, logs into the back of the forwarder. And the uh, Power Team Esports guys—they've actually really working their way through these trees nice and quickly. Hmm. Yeah. I'm just going to bring the map up and see if we can see where the trucks are. I've taken actually taken two very different routes. One is these guys started up at the sawmill. Uh, one's kind of zigzagged through the middle of the map, and the other's gone all the way down to the bottom. And I think they're probably going to arrive here at about the same time, just watching where they are on the map and how they have to get from A to B. That's right. Yeah. It looks like one of them is stuck, actually. One of them's reversing. But you can see... The other one coming just across the bridge there, about to join the fray. So interesting. Indeed. Now we're already two and a half minutes through. We're already a quarter of the way through the challenge. 
that's right. Uh, to that point, Args, I think everybody who's watching really pay attention to that timer in the corner. The timer in the corner is going to make things really interesting. It's going to. I think the game's obviously going to be a lot quicker than you saw last year, and a lot more decision making on the fly. So um, mm. you've got to really consider how how long you want to spend cutting down trees versus how much time you've got to get back to the cell points. So hundred uh, percent. And of course, the other difference here is that Power Team Esports and Astragon Entertainment, for that fact, are used to having a time-based challenge from Farm Simulator League, uh, right. whereas the other teams from last season it was all just based on loading those containers up. So, whether that will be an advantage for them in the future, we will just have to wait and see how it all plays out. Uh, there's also going to be more weight put on how neatly the trucks are loaded. Uh, we all know the challenge that can be loading a truck. And we're just seeing Jeremy for Tower Team Esports has arrived here first. Excellent. And um, Power Team Esports, actually, Obelix has just used a tree. He he butted up all of their cut logs against a tree. And he's managed to get a whole... Every single log so far that they've cut into one load. So they are about to load up here with a pretty substantial amount of, amount of logs. He's done a pretty decent job, oh, I must admit, of getting them into the back of the truck. That is not a bad start for them. And this is where, it, what I was saying, is you know, with the auto load container, those would have just been accepted and taken in and it wouldn't have been a worry about the next ones, but you do have to think about the next load of logs and see That's what's right. going to happen there. That's right. Now, Schiffelmeister's arrived here, so I'm intrigued to see this tactic of, uh, of the guys to see who is going to take on that... Uh, that truck, how they're going to load that truck now. Hmm, indeed. Just keeping an eye there on the time. Coming up on five minutes, so halfway through the challenge. Now these guys, I think they're taking the logs down to the new cell point down by the uh, roller coaster. Yeah. So I mean, I guess they've got a go. choice, haven't they, Args? But you're right, that is the closest one. So I'd be very surprised if they uh, went anywhere else. Hmm. So I think Tobias... Any Tobias and the... Um, uh, the Logmeisters have decided that they could probably load their truck faster if everything's already arranged neatly on the back of the uh, the other trailer. So um, I can see them now loading from one into the other, which is a, an interesting tactic. Right. Okay. Hamish has just confirmed it is the cell point by the fuel station, so it is a little bit further away than the uh, the roller coaster. Ah, it's okay, a interesting. More of a drive for the trucks. Good stuff. Hmm. <clears throat> so I think so Carl's just asking in chat what. Go ahead, Ox. Carry on. I was just going to say Carl's just asking in chat what the winners get as a reward. Well, for today it is all about points. It's about ranking points leading into the finals later in the year. Um, but in the long run, we do have some prizes from Thrustmaster to uh, provide to the winners. And you can probably talk a little bit more about what that might be. That's right. Yeah, we um, we haven't confirmed anything yet, but they have given us a a prize, a prize pool. Uh, I think we'll be able to select certainly uh, what we do. I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't um, some farm sticks this year, because obviously um, their new product that they're pushing. So, uh, hmm. but we'll find out later in the we'll find out later in the season what uh, what we come up for the final prizes. Yep. Right now, um, Power Team Esports have got. I would suggest more logs on their truck and um, probably slightly in the lead um, they've got a few things that have fallen off and are sitting on the floor here Args so um, uh, Obelix is just trying to tidy things up a little bit now um, struggling yep. just a little bit and this is again another challenge of loading you've got to make sure they work on the trailer which they didn't have to worry about That's last right. time that's right, but you certainly, I think you're 100% right, they have more logs. Uh, the Logmeister's load, Tobias is really getting quite a neat load, and if we were awarding points for tidiness, <laughs> they'd be winning hands down, but uh, I've got a lot of logs on the ground, and I don't know how they're going to go getting those all on the back of the truck and delivered in time. Yeah, and interestingly, they have, um, they've gone for the 6 meter maximum optimal kind of price point whereas uh, the guys at power team esports have gone for the longer logs but they're out of here already arcs they're heading to their yeah. cell point so they are aware with two minutes just over two minutes and 30 seconds left that they need to get out of there and see what they can sell so let's see how That's this right. goes interestingly enough oblix is still bringing more logs out is he gonna run that wheel loaded down with a load of logs it looks like he is he's 
No, he's stopped in the middle. I don't think they have the chance to get down and get a load sold and back here, so... Looks like he's just, uh, he's just parking that there, hopefully not in the way. Practicing. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, Valo's still going cutting and Oblix is uh, checking out what the neighbours are up to. Now, interestingly as well, I, I can't remember what the, um, the, the penalties uh, for failing to hit the 10 minute time window are quite high aren't they it's like two thousand a thousand dollars a thousand dollars every 10 seconds yes so um the potential potential penalties uh over the two minutes is twelve thousand dollars before yeah. you get disqualified so it does pay to be soon and uh Schiffelmeister's on his way as well he has left the arena okay with he is running down the road as well just a minute and a, a minute and a half left now we like i said at the start they did not know these courses before tonight so they have not had a chance to practice how long this run to the uh, sell point is um so they've had to take some guesstimates that's right jeremy just passing through the town he's just past the shop now and he's heading up the hill very close to the finish point now one minute left of normal time oh, there we go <clears throat> I'd like to think that the logmasters have judged it very well for their timing wise. We are heading past the big load of logs and almost down in town. So they're going to be cutting it pretty fine. We've got 45 seconds. Go. See how they go. Now the finish lines are between a couple of bales. They don't actually have to have sold it in the 10 minutes. It is just to get across a finish line. Um, so there is a little bit of flexibility there. Obviously there can be a little bit of a delay with selling or if uh, there's two trucks there trying to keep them separate and identify which is which but not too far away now so here we go power team seconds. esports and jeremy just arriving they are about to hit the finish line with 15 seconds of normal time remaining so jeremy over the line with the power team esports truck we have got five seconds left three two one so we're in overtime now so yeah. the log meisters just coming across the bridge and he's not too far away from the gas station, but I think they're going to be carrying about 30 seconds of penalties by the time he gets all the way up here. Yeah, we can see the time has gone red now. Um, so they'll swing in here. And then um, Hamish will take a little bit of time to do the calculations. We'll check out the scores, we but go. as Just a betting man... 26 seconds. I would suggest that I think Power Team Esports might have just snuck this one. So we will, I think, uh, uh, yeah, looking at the loads and looking at the logs, I think you might be right there. And so that could be an interesting uh, to see the future developments, how the teams play things out. Yeah, and I think as you're they right. they learn more and more. Yeah, as, um, as the first round, they're finding their feet a little bit here. Um, That's right. So let's see. Let's, let's see, see what the scores We'll be getting some instructions from Hamish on who's selling when. <laughs> East Coast Farmer says the timer sold. should be be uh, should last fifteen minutes, but equally we could not get as many games in. So um, yeah, it was a it was a trade off between games not taking too long versus uh, uh, making sure we got everybody the opportunity to play because we have had a lot of entries this year and we want to make sure everybody gets an opportunity. Yeah, that's right, 100%. And uh, I think you actually find sort of thumbs and league went from a 15-minute time down to only a 10-minute time now, and teams have had to adapt and learn with that. Uh, that's right. So it is, it's the same for both teams. Um, just have to see here. Just heading over, I think there's a trigger for selling. So there is Schiffelmeisters sold for the Logmeisters. Just going to get Velo driving across now, and of course I'm on the director's farm, so I don't even see exactly what the values are. For That's me. right. That's right. But we'll um, we'll do the calculations. Uh, thank as also to uh, Mr. Mark Haythornthwaite, who has very kindly pulled together the timer. And behind the timer is a lot of clever calculations that uh, work out what is what in terms of penalties and how they're uh, how they're applied as well. So huge shout out to you, Mark, right. for uh, pulling that together. Yep, 100%. All right, so there we go. Power Team Esports have sold, and uh, we're now going to be waiting to get the final results. Farmer Hamish will be crunching the numbers, and uh, as soon as he tells us, we will be able to jump over and take a look at those. Yes, indeed. But I'm just going to 
head up the hill here because our next match will be right above the cell point here. I was going to say so it's almost like it's almost like Hamish planned this, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you can see the equipment there and the trees ready to go. So, uh, right. as soon as we've got our results here, we will jump in and uh, we'll go with that. Hamish may jump well, in. Chat. A... Yes, you might. I think that was an interesting. Uh... Interesting first match. I don't know what you, what you think, but I'd like to say um, I'm not sure if the forwarder was the correct option there around getting as many logs in as quickly as possible. Yeah, it's an interesting one, isn't it? And, you know, hats off to them for trying a different tactic uh, or trying something mm. new. Um, like you say, whether or not it was right, we, we will we will soon find out. Um, That's right. But uh, let's see. Let's see what the results tell us. That's it. So just looking here at the equipment that we've got coming up for match number two, very similar. They've both got the same tree processor there, uh, but just a little bit different on the loader. We haven't seen the high lift loader yet either, FSG. We haven't. It's uh, been the grapples and the front loader there, just the normal grapple. So. Yeah, no, interesting. Um, again, Kegarino, uh, Sharp Farmer and Gaming with James are reigning champions, are current champions, so... Um, Mm. It'll be interesting to see how they adapt to the new uh, the new setup as well. That's right. And coming up against Modern Logging, one of our teams from last year. Uh, I think they've had a bit of a member change change too, isn't it? Colby's a new member here for Modern Logging. That's right. Yes, indeed. So, just waiting on the green light from uh, Hamish. We can check the scores. <sighs> And then we'll go from there. I've just realised my watermark on my stream is completely covering my face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can change that, can I? Without stopping no, the stream. Turn it, turn it off and edit the stream. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. I've got a that face. Been, I've got a face for radio it. anyway. <laughs> that we've been doing it all the last season too. Yeah. Hasn't it? <laughs> it will have been. They yeah. changed the size of the watermark. Yeah, it does look bigger. I can I can tell you that on tablet, because I've got it running on my tablet, I've got your stream up, It's uh, there's not actually a watermark, so it might only be on PC anyhow. Ah, okay. Hmm. Right, while we wait, let's um, have a look at who else um, is playing in the trios this uh, round. So there we go, Pinnacle Loggers versus Modern Logging will be coming up next. And then after that, we have got uh, the Logmeisters back again for a second time versus Astragon. And then Power Team Esports back for a second round against Modern Logging as well. Now, over the course of the season, Args, they're going to balance out. So everybody will have played the same number of games, won't they? Yeah, that's right. That's right. We'll certainly give everyone equal opportunity there and making sure that the league is uh, fair and they've all had the same number of games. That's right. And, and played each other the same amount of times, as equally as we can make that one. That's right, yep, indeed. I'm just going to check Discord here and see if we've got any info from Hamish. Still waiting, so... Oh, he's, Farmer Hamish is typing. One more. Uh -huh. Results up. Right, okay, let's jump All in right. and see what we've got. Results up. All right. There we go. So Power Team Esports. They sold $26,124 worth of logs with no penalties. Uh, so have one there. And Logmeisters only had $10,705. And they also received that $2,621 penalty. So their final profit with a to very many decimal points was yes, $8,083. So uh, a quite resounding win there uh, for the guys at Power Team Esports, which is awesome. Yeah, they'll be very happy with that start to the season. Uh, I know they came in a little bit late last year and uh, might have taken a while, while to get up to speed with the differences between logs and bales, but uh, certainly they'll be very happy to start there out with a win. That's right. And uh, I'm sure Logmeisters will uh, 
be thinking about what their uh, equipment decisions had to make. Now, they won't be able to change those for the very next match, though. They're stuck with those for today's round. So uh, they do have the chance to try and change some of those between the next one, though. That's right. That's right. Okay. All right. I think we're looking close to being ready for uh, yep. round two starting. So i right. over to Hamish for starter's orders. That's it. I'm not sure what Sharp Farmer's doing up here. If he's a truck driver, he's in the wrong spot. <laughs> but we do have uh, Colby Modern Logging with James Sim. Now, James Sim is uh, Game with James from last season. Not a new player, but a different name. As well as Kegarino and Sharp Farmer there for the Pinnacle Loggers. And then Modern Logging. We have Modern Logging, Colby, and just have to remember who they're third team member is we'll just jump back into the uh samu samu Family, ch yes. of course and uh, colby hello. has substituted him for farming alex hello chap sorry i might just break in for two seconds we've had a bit of an issue with one of the team members on modern logging so i just wanted to make you aware um we've had to put a substitute in um that'll be locally hated slowpoke um who is just about to log in as we speak roger um, that's been a bit of a last minute issue all right, no worries at all. <laughs> what a great Thank name. Hamish. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking that. Right, we'll let him log in quickly. No he matter how smoothly and how much you plan this, you cannot account for dodgy connections to servers and things like that, can you? So That's right. Availability, all of that kind of thing. Yeah. Do bear with us. I'm quite impressed at the uh, matching uh, uniforms from everybody so far this year as well. I think there's uh, some good effort going into uh, getting sorted for uh, for looking good. Yeah, they're presenting themselves themselves nicely. Are you, ro are you repping the uh, logging league hoodie there in orange, Arcs? I do, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I know. Yep. No, we've got the logging leg on There we go. Yeah. And a quite spectacular handlebar moustache as well. I like that, Ox. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. I've been uh, working on that for quite some time now, <laughs> and it's becoming a regular fixture. I just realised I didn't have the hat on, though. But... That's all right. Bear with us just a so second, we'll just wait folks. just for our login. Yep. Now, um, Hamish, I'm not sure if you're still in admin chat here, but um, um, can you confirm where we're going for the sell point for this one? I'm assuming um, we will be going and using the sell point down by the roller coaster this time, rather than uh, the one that's literally on our doorstep um, to add another element of uh, jeopardy in. Yeah, I think you're right with that. I'm pretty sure that was what was discussed earlier. Yeah. Just over here admiring the stream. Some beautiful assets here in uh, Silver and Forest. It'd be nice to see these be able to be used by other modders and things like that to uh, add to their maps. Right. Beautiful little spot. I'm going to take this opportunity, as I haven't done it yet, to say hello to everyone in chat. Thanks for joining again, and thanks for supporting Log League. It is much appreciated. As Jan says, uh, remember to hit that like button. Um, it all goes to helping not just the channel, but getting the name of Logging League out there and uh, hoping, hopefully getting it to grow. Hmm, indeed. I'm assuming there might be a last minute equipment change possibly being made that here. Way, doesn't it? I, cost heard, popping up. I heard the ping of... Um, Store deliveries, so uh, there we go. Yeah, no, sadly modders can't use them at the moment, Carl. It would be nice to be able to see those um, assets being available, though. Hopefully, hopefully in the future. Maybe if uh, the speculations are rife around a new game later this year, maybe even in time to be used for the new version of the game. Often see. Assets like this are made available once the game's sort of retired or when the next one's been released. So we might, be, right. we might not be too far away from having that opportunity. That's right. That's right. Okay. Uh, Loungefly, how are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, which model of Thrustmaster is the one for FarmSim? So the there's the farm 
um, the sim task stick, which is their farming specific um, joystick, uh, but also their, a lot of their joysticks will work actually. I've heard of people using others, obviously the T16000s were one of the most popular ones before the, the farm stick. So. That's right. Right, we are still in standby mode here, waiting for our replacement player to come in for the modern logging team. Had a little bit of a change at the last minute, to no fault of their own, so we are just waiting for confirmation of that, and then we will be good to go. Hmm. Just doing my best drone, uh, drone flying <laughs> around the map. I'm using my eSwap Thrustmaster controller. Nice. Product placement, product placement. Ah, right. It looks like locally hated Slowpoke is logging in and joining us. So. We'll be underway soon. Here we go. And it's, yeah, it's worth pointing out, isn't it? Oh, cause all teams have a fourth uh, member um, and they can rotate as they see fit during the series That's and right. uh, during the season. And the, there's no penalty or anything for that. Just allows. No. Allows people who, uh, you know, we all do this for fun in our spare time, so you can't always make every uh, every session. So it's uh, mm. it's nice to be able to have a, a stand-in for you if you can't uh, make one week. All right, we'll just let them get themselves familiarised with what they're doing and when they're going, and then we'll be in Hamish's capable control and ready to start. But the uh, timer has been reset on the screen there. Good to go. And remember, 10 minutes now. So the, the games are a lot shorter than you will see last year. Um, a lot I'm of saying that we were seeing games a... under... Go ahead, dogs. We had game. I was just going to say, we had games under 10 minutes last season. We, we did. did have some finish under 10 minutes. So. We did indeed, yeah. We did indeed. And then, you know, we did a lot of working out of how uh, how long the game should take, um, trying to keep engagement mm. up and interest from uh, people watching as well. So that was how we landed on 10 minutes. Right, we're under starter's orders. We are good to go. So, on Hamish's countdown, we will get started. Yep. Cheers, Carl. We'll catch you later, mate. Have a good one. Thanks for tuning in. As soon as Hamish is ready, we will be underway. Here we go. Countdown's coming. Three, two, one, and go. Right. We are off. Modern logging. All right. <laughs> Leaping. He did. He was very quick out of the blocks. <laughs> and they are heading... What are they going to do? He well, we started going forward, and then I think he had a little bit of a change of mind. And actually, that change of mind... Gave Kegarino the chance to grab that nearby tree. I think Modern Logging was going for that same tree as well, and he's decided to head a little bit further down the valley. Looks like we might have to split on this one, Ox. Modern Logging hanging yeah. a long way away here. They are, they are. Kegarino's pulling the tree right out into the middle, giving it a good position, good spot there for James to be able to pick it up. Seeing there what length he's cutting it. It definitely looks like he's gone a little bit longer. Modern logging was going for one tree and he's now switched to a different one. And just taking his first cut there, and they've got their first tree down. It's funny, I can see that falling down in the background. Alright. It's worth pointing out while we're uh, just here watching Kegarino. For anyone who's not familiar, uh, Kegs, Kegs has a uh, muscular degenerative disease and he's actually playing using a mouth controller. Um, where he can manipulate with some pipes, he can blow air into them to control his equipment. So when you put that into context, and the fact that they are our reigning champions, it's a pretty impressive achievement. It sure is. It sure is. Right, Sharp Farmer has just arrived, Args. He's heading up the valley to you. Alright. I can see him there. Not sure if James is quite aware where he is, because um, he's sort of just sitting in the middle. <laughs> and Locally Hated has just arrived. Um, with 
modern loggings truck as well. So he's just maneuvering into position. Modern logging has rolled right. his cutter though, but using the arm, he's straight back up. Very fortunate. And James is oh, he had three logs in the grapple when he's managed to uh, get two of them, and he dropped one across too far across the back of the truck and went off the other side. So a little bit of a disadvantage there because he was well positioned and well ready to start loading logs into the truck. But let's just see how they go. We're already two minutes or almost coming up on two and a half minutes through this round. Now interestingly modern logging have gone for longer logs here, Ogs. Um They're going for full length trees or not far off it. And Colby's just about to drop the first one into the trailer. Having a few challenges here, yeah. but he's getting organised. Right, James has been a little bit more careful here with the next load of logs. He's got that in. No, he's managed to grab one. It's just a little bit sticky on the grapple. Uh, but I'm sort of moving around a lot. Kex is cutting trees down. Can't actually see where he's gone now. He's gone quite a way down the, down the track. And uh, they seem to be sort of picking trees on their way towards the cell point. Oh, interesting. Interesting tactic. colby has got the first log. He's just about to work the second log in now. Um. The Sharp Farmer's trying to get across the narrow wooden bridge here, and with the length of the truck and trailer they have chosen, it's actually finding it really difficult to manoeuvre because he was coming at it from a little bit of an angle, but it has given chance for James to pick up those two logs he dropped, and they're now on the back of the truck. And they are carrying on their way down the track, getting closer to the cell point, uh, where Kegs has already got a few more low logs here ready to be loaded so it's kind of a little bit of a um sort of moving target here for them at the moment interesting interesting and they're obviously thinking about this on the fly as well because they wouldn't have known where that stuff was until just a few minutes before the stream went live yeah i've not been in the server for a little bit while the first round was on so they probably had a chance to possibly have a little bit of a look That's around right. make a few assumptions make a bit of a plan hmm Meanwhile, over with the modern logging guys, um, Colby's just got another couple of very large trees on, so they are playing the volume game here, Ox, going for max weight, I think. Even if it isn't as uh, financially viable, they're going to just play the numbers game. That's the advantage here with these trucks, is obviously the uh, open bunk, you can sort of have a log hanging over the back as far as you like. James is doing a pretty good job of loading this truck. It's uh, He's keeping it pretty neat and tidy, giving them every opportunity to get as many logs in as possible. As we come up on the five minute mark, so we are halfway through this round. It'll be interesting to see uh, how long they wait, how much time they're going to allow themselves to travel down to the cell point. I feel like we're a little bit closer, so maybe a minute. Maybe a minute's yep. drive. Yeah, it is a slightly closer one, isn't it? Now, I've just watched Colby manhandle and almost flip three trees into the trailer in one go with a very deft move um locally hated is away though locally hated has decided to go with the five minutes on locally has headed off interesting they're going early Ugs. that is interesting especially if they're heading up no they're just watching your stream they are going down the hill they are. um yeah that's in tactic I thought they could have probably got another um, log or two on. We've got f just over four minutes left on the clock, but they are away. They're away to the cell point, so they are definitely wanting to avoid. They've seen from the first round the penalties that you receive, so they definitely want mm. to avoid getting any penalties at all. Is it the right thing to do? Maybe trying for two runs, Mark Haythornthwaite has suggested as well. That is a good point, possibly. That is, yeah. That is on a possibility, the cards. although... To get down and back. If they had space in the truck, I'd be gambling on loading as much as I can. I think so. Um, which is certainly what James and Sharp Farmer are doing. This is a very neat load of logs. I'm very impressed with uh, what the Pinnacle loggers here are putting together. Uh, the truck is just about full though. So I'm not sure whether they're just going to go for this load. Kegs is still cutting down trees. But uh, James and Sharp Farmer have been working together. It's almost been poetry. Uh, Sharp's moved forward and backwards to try and get better lined up with the loader and uh yeah this is a very neat load of logs okay locally uh headed over the line 
at 3 minutes and 19 seconds. He's just sitting here though, so I'm trying to work out... I'm, I'm suggesting they're not going to unload these. Um, and that is them done. Yeah, Shark Farmer's also heading out now as well with 3 minutes left on the clock. The warning just popping up there from Hamish. And uh, they've also taken the same gamble and heading down the road as well. Now Mark saying, two runs not possible as you can't sell the first. Uh, Model logging, could you please sell your logs, please? They're going to do that. Now, I think you can. You can dr uh, drive in, sell your logs, and then head back out. Um, but there we go. Yeah. Sold. We'd have to... We'd have to have a discussion about that, actually, because at what point then do they say they're finished? That's right. I guess they... it's the second time they cross the finish line, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I guess so. Uh, but they would probably need or to flag that with sold. Hamish as the ref. So yes. They knew not to or stop if they've the already sold a load, can they uh, just say we're going till 10 minutes and we're going to try and get more in or not? Yeah. Not sure. Yeah. Anyhow, what are we? Just going under two minutes and Sharp Farmers just turned the corner and heading across the start finish line in just a second or the finish line okay timer stops entirely after crossing the finish line so you can't do two runs there we go all right thanks for clearing that up hamish sharp farmer now wow there, there is a lot of logs on that aren't they that is impressive they have done a fantastic job now we're uh our current champions our reigning champions showing why they won season one there that is a very hmm. very neat load of logs it was actually really nice watching them work they uh they were in sync let's say you could certainly see the teamwork coming to the fore there and uh james and sharp farmer are just going to get their logs sold wait for those to disappear and then we'll be waiting for hamish to there we go gone gone let us know how things go but that was that was over before you knew it that it one. was indeed so yes uh modern logging decided to go early across the line with three minutes and 19 seconds left on the clock sharp farmer and uh the rest of the pinnacle loggers coming over the line at 137 left on the clock so there will be no penalties here so it's going to be purely down to who sold what hmm will be interesting though, the, interesting uh, tactics though there People starting to get nervous now about penalties, I think, which... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep. It was interesting. Hmm. So Calamaris has just made the point, would it not be better then to have one more trailer at the point as a pickup trailer? I mean, that that's something we could, you know, maybe discuss in the future if people wanna, thought there was an opportunity to get two loads done. Um, yeah. Could have a second trailer, second truck ready down at the weight point. You could come in and swap trucks. I don't know. Yeah. Certainly open to uh, open to suggestions here on how we can improve it and make it better. I think, to be honest, I'm a little bit surprised that they were able to fill a truck so well within that sort of 10 minute limit. But I don't think the Pinnacle Loggers would have had the chance to get down here, get that load sold and go and get any more. And get back. Yeah, yeah um, there wasn't enough time mm. to really load anything. Okay, uh, results are in, Args. Um, we're going straight, nice off, and straight off Discord rather than off the slides at the moment. So, All right. I won't change that and look at that then. Uh, Pinnacle Loggers, with 137 left on the clock, had a mighty $33,099 of uh, wood on the trailer. Wow. Um, so they are the winners. Modern Logging, with 322 left on the clock, only had $12,020 of logs. So uh, coming in a bit early, I think, in hindsight, probably staying and loading up the trailer a little bit more and getting a little bit closer to the uh, the uh, time limit would have been the wise thing to do there. But first of many rounds this season, so I'm sure they'll uh, reset and they'll go again and take some learnings from that. Mm. Yeah, that's a um, that's an impressive amount of logs, though. 33 grand in a little under nine minutes. Astounding. Yeah. Oh, very impressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shows the benefit. Shows the benefit to cutting them to length. It does. Well. It does indeed. Mm. It does indeed. Now, I, I don't know whether I'll be giving away tactics here, but I had wondered about the idea, and I've seen this done before. You load a full log onto the truck and then use a chainsaw to cut it while it's on the truck, so you reduce the length. 
Oh, well, you've just given them ideas now, Ox. Wow. <laughs> I don't mind uh, Don't mind it trying to sow some seeds of creativity in there. <laughs> I don't know if they have chainsaws. That might be the limiting factor. That's true. They would have had to request those before the stream. So, uh, yeah, we'll, yeah. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see if that becomes a thing in, in later, uh, in later uh, rounds. Yes, right. Let's just find where we're heading for match three, which is right here in the centre of the map. Yes, indeed. Uh, we are up here In now. the first of our solo matches, as we wait for the players to log in with us. That's right, yeah. So Heat 3, Methy Boy, Samu CH, and James Sim, Gaming with James, as you may know him from previous uh, blogging leagues. So they're going to be joining... Um, 1v1v1 this, so a little bit of a different scenario. Uh, we've got to think about a few more things. Um, so while they sink in, we'll um, we'll wait and get them organised and then we're good to go. And 20 bucks. <laughs> Which is not going back to with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much, my friend. That is much appreciated. You are a gentleman. Any of you guys who uh, get gifted memberships, certainly on my channel, uh, and the same on Arcs, I believe, um, you get access to uh, play on things like the competitive server, which will be back in the not-too-distant future, won't it, Arcs? That's right. It will be. Definitely will be. I've been doing some work on it over the last few days just to uh, even a few things out, and we will certainly be having that back. Now... I just want to talk a little bit here as we look at the equipment. We've got a uh, little bit of variance here with the trucks, which is interesting. There is. We've got our front loader, as we've already seen. Uh, Gaming with James used that to great effect in the last round. Then we've got the grapple here in the middle. And she's back. The high lift. First time we've seen it this the season. The high lift is here. We've got that. Nice. Um, I was more looking here at the trucks with Samu has chosen the truck with the uh, grapple, the Palfinger grapple on the back of it and a uh, oh, second trailer. Interesting. So he doesn't have the longer articulated trucks. He's gone for the uh, truck and trailer unit. So it'd be interesting to see how this works for him considering the time limits and he's having to do it all on his own. How that goes. It's, uh, it's nice to see someone thinking outside the box already. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, and I... I'm, I'm assuming, based on the equipment we've got further up the uh, the road there, that he's not going to be using the uh, the grapple on the truck. He's just using those two smaller trails, maybe for a little bit more agility. Maybe to yeah, get, possibly. get around a little bit quicker. Um, we shall see, mm. but uh, interesting tactic. Mm. Right, we're going yeah, we straight will. away. We're under starter's orders, Ugs. Indeed we are. Just as we're waiting for that countdown, thank you, Carl Hobbs, for becoming a farm uh, team member. And I see you've done the same on FSG's channel. So thank you very much for the memberships. Carl Hobbs, thank you very much. much appreciate it. Yeah. Right, there we are. We are underway. So all three heading off to the uh, processing units. They all have exactly the same forestry harvesters here. So there's no speed or time advantages or any difference that we're going to see from this. But and they've all, Let's see where they all head. Almost synchronised the way they split off there. Nobody's getting in anybody's mm. way. Samu's just getting lined up with the first tree. Game with James just lining up as well. Who is going to make the first cut? I can't see Methy. Bit but of there a race. He is. Samu has just got his tree down first. James not far behind. Methy's just struggling a little bit to get the uh, get the processing head wrapped around this mm -hmm. tree. There you go, Samu nicely stacked first tree as well. And same for gaming with James. Methy Boy's having some real issues with this tree. Now I'm not sure whether this is the processing unit has a smaller head on it and can't take some of these bigger logs. He might be trying to cut down a tree that's too big. Interesting. I did see gaming with James went for a large tree before, so... Um, I'm not sure if it was as big as that one. Yeah, I'm not sure how long he's going to stick here with this and uh, before he makes the decision to head off somewhere else because looking in the background, Samu and James are certainly getting a good there number of trees. And there we go, he's got it grabbed. That must be, down, so. like you say, Arx, right on the limit of what that can handle, size-wise. Yeah. 
Now I've got to say, look at Samu's stack here. How neat is that? And Samu's got the grapple as well, so... Um, he's really taking his time to make sure that his pile is as neat as possible. We've got a little bit of a mm. visual glitch on Samu's cutter as well here. Got some floating trees there, but it doesn't seem to be yeah. impacting performance. No, Mickey Boy was exactly the same down here. It looked like the uh, tree was hanging out of the grapple. It looks like Thank you, James, James for those the, the memberships. Gaming with James seems to be having the same issue. Oh, no, he's got it now. I think they really are on the limit of what these uh, these can handle. Yeah, it's always been an interesting tactic. I I know that there is the different sizes in the different processing units, and uh, I've kind of never gone for the bigger one, which I think, from memory, is the Rotney one is the biggest of the it is, isn't it? Yeah. options. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to get much love. For some reason, whatever reason it might be. I'm saying that Methy Boy's having a real issue just trying to cut down a smaller tree down here at the moment, too. James clearing. He's got some nice piles here as well. I think Samu takes the cake with the uh, neat pile at the moment. It is. It's a that lovely is looking stack of logs. Very nice. We're only three minutes in as well. So actually, interestingly, when you think about the volume that we were getting from some of the teams, these guys are doing very well solo. It's just how quickly mm. they can get them loaded up and into the uh, trailer. Hmm. Yeah, Methy Boy's having not a very much fun down here at the moment trying to get the second tree cut down. Yeah, Sam is having a few James issues is here off. as well. Alright, well James is into his wheel loader. He's got the grapple open and going to go and start loading some logs up. Almost like the cutting head isn't aligning properly. Sam is having a real issue here. Again... But he's got it, finally. Yeah, there's a little right, bit of a James with visual glitch again. James has got his first trees in his grab. Just interesting to see what he does with his truck here because he is working around on the track, so hopefully he doesn't disadvantage any of the other players. No, he's kind of been pretty courteous there. I think he might have heard you. Oh no, he's, he's looking uh -huh. around. Got that little tree in the way there, which is uh, throwing an extra layer of challenge in. Hmm. Coming fresh off the last team match, he's uh, got a little bit of an advantage, really. He's kind of had a bit of a warm-up, almost, so to speak, with his loading. So he's done a fantastic job there with that first one. And Samu's on his side. No, Samu has managed to tip his processing unit on on the side, and he is making a mess of all those wonderful piles that he had. Ugh. He's still carrying on with cutting the tree down, though. He's <laughs> I like getting that. it trimmed. Yeah, committed to the cause. He's yeah. gone full turtle mode. Oh, look at that. 360. <laughs> spun it over. As we get that five-minute warning there. How much longer is he going to go? Looks like he's getting that out of the way. And is he going to jump up into his excavator? No, he's running up to grab his truck and bring that down. Just as James is going to get in the way here. Matthew Boy is still struggling up. with this uh, with this head on this uh, on this cutter. I think it's the uh, I think it's the branches of the trees that are maybe impacting the the collisions on the branches on the trees are causing a few issues here. All right. Well, I'm just watching Samu here, and he is going straight to using the grapple on the truck. Oh, interesting. He's, uh, pulled up next to it, tabbed across into the control box and looks like he's going to use that for his loading well 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 I didn't expect that maybe that's a I wonder if that's a decision he's made on the fly we're going to need to be planning to leave here in about two minutes to be able to get to the cell point in time we'll see how he goes he's got a good grab of logs here first up three logs getting those pulled around and into the back of the truck uh, yeah, it's just got to get him past that first bar there. Yeah, I think he's just going to uh, accept that it's hanging out the side and hope that he doesn't clip it on a tree on the way to the cell point. 
James, on the other hand, has got a very neat stack of logs down here, and we saw how big a load they got with the Pinnacle Loggers previously. Uh, what's going to intrigue me there? I think those are the last of his logs. He's got three minutes on the timer. What's and he going to do? Is he going to cut any more? Matthew Boy's thrown in the towel as well, and he's loading now as well. All right, there we go. Three minute warning. I'm just watching James here and just seeing what his decision is going to be around whether he cuts down some more. He's kind of in two minds, but he is. He's going to go and try and cut down another tree. He was, wasn't he? And, and, and actually, I think uh, that's almost one of those decisions you can make on the fly because you could look over your contestants and your, your fellow contestants, see how they're doing and make your decision based on that because uh, Samu and Methy both struggling just a little bit here I think to get their trailers loaded although Methy's about to get uh, the trees that he managed to cut with those issues with his header on his uh, cutter but he's managed to get a few on here straight away but that is all he's cut down Args what a shame There we go, Samu now starting to load the second trailer here. Two, right, two minutes minute warning. just two minutes left. Yeah, James has got three more logs here, which looks like he's going to commit to loading. Before he yeah, it was off. about a minute and a half, wasn't it? From here, from a standing start to rolling over the finish line. So James is cutting it yeah. fine here, but I think if he gets this on quickly... He's going to do well. And Methy's away. Methy has decided enough is enough. Uh, he did struggle yeah. with those... Um, he did struggle with those trees in the header on his cutting... Uh, his cutting tool, so he is away. That's interesting, because we didn't... Using your mic, I think, full 180 here. What's that, sorry? Your mic dropped out then. Missed what you said. Uh, I think uh, I think we're having issues with Discord connection because yeah. I was losing you a little bit too. Well, James is going high. Methy is going low. Mm. One minute to go, Ux. Yes. Yes, we are. I'm not actually sure which uh, cell point these guys are heading to either. Whether they're going, I think they're going over to the one by the gas station. They are. And they're, first. at this rate, coming close together. Oh, James just ever so slightly in the lead here. This is going to be a... Yeah. Run to the line, I think. So there's access just back out onto the main road here that they're about to head past. James is definitely taking. Methy Boy's going to follow. He is. Yep. All right, we're getting down to the last 30 seconds. In fact, 20 seconds. And they only just got to go across the road, a little left right, and they'll be in there. So As long as the train doesn't come along and add another level of... Uh... Oh. You know, count it down there at five seconds. Four. Three, three two, two, one. one. There, well, that James is about is... as close as you could get. <laughs> and he's managed to roll his truck going across the finish line, but he was committed to getting there in time. Methy Boy at about nine seconds, and we'll just have to wait and see where Samu comes through on the finish as well. Can't see him just yet. Interesting. So there you go. Very close by both of them they've timed that really really well to get those as close they as they did to the uh, time limit impressive impressive stuff here comes the train as well some of us leaving but i don't know if he had the best intentions on how to get out of the area he's sort of going to head back through the town so his uh penalty points that he's going to incur here are going to be quite sizable they are indeed. Got just over a minute. And if he doesn't make it, unfortunately, it will be classed as a DNF. Which, considering the advantage he had with the log cutting over uh, Methy Boy, so it's Methy right. Boy's decision to actually leave and finish you know, with very little penalties could pay off and get him a second place in this one. That's right, that's right. Yeah, and... Um, he had that grapple as well, didn't he? Um, mm. So, choosing to go with the one on the truck rather than uh, rather than the grapple on the Volvo excavator 
I might be ruining that decision as well. Hmm, just heading through the town now. Where are we at? He's got 20 seconds, so unfortunately I don't think he's going to make it back in time. No, I don't think so. But again, I think first round, right, Args? And um, there's a whole season ahead for them to tune, fine-tune and refine the way they approach this, so... Oh, 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll see how things go. But we are at time limit, unfortunately. So that is our first DNF of the new season. And just by a few seconds, here he comes now. Hmm. Oh. So he's just parking up at the gas station and <laughs> buying a buying a coke or something like that. Yeah. Right. We shall wait for the numbers to come in for that. I think hmm, probably indeed. pretty straightforward <clears throat> this one. I think we could probably assume that uh, Game with James took that one based on the amount of logs he had compared to Methy Boy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, over the piece probably Methy Boy. Grabbing second place there, even though he didn't have many yeah, logs, playing with the playing with yeah. the time limit has uh, maybe given him an advantage. I think so. I think so. But like I said, it's good to see some innovation coming through there from uh, from Samu. It might not have paid off the way he had hoped, but hopefully the teams will stick to doing some things like that and uh, trying different things. That's right. That's right. So, uh, Hamish is just about to post um, the results in the chat here, and we'll relay them to you. Before we move on to round four, which is another solo round, and will be Faban versus Modern Logging versus Genetic. Again, names I'm sure you recognise from season one. Hmm. Right, there are the results. So we have got James, as expected, took a 1.5 second penalty, which is $157, but still managed to sell $28,950 worth of logs. Methy Boy did come through there in second, $9,225 worth of logs with a $756 penalty. And unfortunately, some of there did not get back within the 12 minute time limit. So. He's officially recorded as DNF. So James winning that quite comfortably uh, from Methy Boy and Samu. Yes, indeed. But um, nice close, nice close, nice to have a close run on the road there. I think oh, cause that kind of added a little something to it, which is good. Yeah, yeah. I think as the teams sort of figure out the best ways to do things, and the players for that matter figure out the best ways to do things, we will see uh, hopefully some very tight and close matches. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Um, Again, another hello to everyone who's watching, uh, both on our stream and mine. Appreciate you spending yes. your Saturday with us or your Sunday morning if you're uh, down under. In the future. In the future. Right, we are going to jump over our fourth and final staging point. is just over here. Put the top corner of the map. Yes, and we'll just have a look at our teams for this one. We've got Faban versus Modern Logging versus Genetic coming through here for the first one. So we've got Faban and Modern Logging here. I think we might just be waiting for Genetic to log himself Logging. into the game. Yes, indeed. Well, interesting, we have got um, the same truck set up here for one of the players. I'm not sure who yet until we see them jump into them, but... Uh I can't see my Discord to see what they picked prior to the stream just now. So, um, again, interesting tactic. And whether or not they will uh, use the loader that's on the truck here, or they're just using the two trucks for maybe a little bit more uh, better handling or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Mm. Mm. Interesting tactic. Wonder if we'll see that one again in future episodes. Yeah, I, I can see it being I can see it being an option in teams where you can have someone who's just dedicated to loading yep. and picking them straight up, but not sure about the rest of it. Right, here are our three guys. Teed up, ready to go. I think Hamish is just getting them organized and uh we will hit the button. Mm. 
All right, start as orders, and we will be underway. It's uh, this is going to be an interesting one to see where they all go as well, and uh, figure out where we start logging. Um, yeah, interesting one with the hotel areas, just there, isn't it? So they've got to yeah, it is. Got to decide what they do here. A lot of road, a lot of uh, a lot of different directions to go, and even the way the the equipment is placed is not ideal, is it? Hmm. No, no. But there we are. We're up and underway. For ban, so for ban first mover modern advantage. Modern. Yep. Cutting in front of the other two guys. Ooh. Looks like he's going across the road here. He's going to go and give himself a lot of space somewhere here. Really planned this out. Not on a huge amount of trees. In fact, he's changing his mind here. <laughs> he's heading back the other way. That's not the first time I've seen that tonight, have we? No. It was, he realised there wasn't actually that much to grab the one way he was looking, so he's turned around and heading back the other way. Genetics kind of still umming and ahhing about where to go, and Modern Logging's got some trees down, so. Let's and see. a little bit Barn's of a gonna give himself. I was going to say a little bit of a disadvantage with Genetic as well, because that, uh, that uh, loader, that excavator with the cutter on it, is a lot slower. That's right, that is. The barn's working on the actual sealed roadway here, which is uh, going to give them a bit of an advantage, I would expect, in having a nice level uh, working platform. I'm not sure what's happening with traffic, but... Uh, it's a very good point. I did see that traffic was on earlier, but... Yeah. Uh, I don't... I'm not sure if it comes up here. I'm not sure if it does either. Traffic is off all stages. Right, okay. There we go. So, uh, yeah, opportunity here for Faban to, uh, mm. yeah, take advantage of that nice smooth surface. Hmm. So modern logging is going for some good length logs. He's got them set quite long. Genetic probably does as well. Uh, whereas I think Faban has gone for a slightly shorter log, which will be interesting. See how that all plays out in the long run. And it will be interesting if they've done some research and they know what the best length to go with is or hmm. again it's that trade-off isn't it you spend the time cutting them to length and maybe it's a bit more of a challenge to get them loaded or do you go with the longer logs which you can fill the trailer hmm. with a lot quicker uh, and go for the volume play right. we shall see yeah now genetics getting himself tangled up a little bit he's got a very small tree which is kind of getting in the way and he's I managed to that. put some logs yeah. down on either side of that uh Actually, as he was cutting to length, one of the logs bumped into it and flipped it onto the other side. So hopefully that doesn't impact him too much. But and this was this was kind of one of the logs. reasons we kind of went back to using the environment rather than having a predetermined stage, wasn't it? Because there are a few little, you know, random things that can be thrown in that can cause a few challenges, which which is a nice another That's level, right. isn't it? So yeah, it's a lot more variables, um, but it also gives the teams more flexibility to choose to go further away or closer or whatever they want to do really yes indeed modern logging right. is going for the grapple already first mover on the grapple yeah see. interesting he actually came from his truck i think he must have tabbed through or something but genetics now going and grabbing his as well which leaves for barn there with the forwarder so now, genetic these guys are working in quite close uh proximity to each other so it'll be interesting to see where they park each other's trucks I would say roughly the same amount of trees as well uh, they've cut mm. down, so interesting to see where they will come out. With six and a half minutes still to go, so still plenty of time here for our teams. Barnes is definitely working way down here in isolation and getting himself a nice number of logs. Uh, it's just going to be proven to see whether his border uh, is going to work out in the better or the worse for him. Yeah, no, definitely he's got more in terms of volume of trees. Cut, uh, modern logging and genetic just manoeuvring their trucks into position now. Let's see how they get on. Um, both modern logging and genetic pretty deft with the uh, with the grapples. If you remember from last year, they uh, they know what they're doing. So let's see how they get on. They're That's definitely right. harder. The grapple definitely harder with the longer logs. Got to get it balanced to get it over the uh, struts on the trailer. Hmm. There's some good length logs modern logging is going for. He's definitely filling up the full length of the truck there. Yep. Van moving his truck into position now too. 
Now, is he going to go for his grapple, or is he going to try and use the one on the truck again? Some impressive loading here from uh, modern logging as well. He's just whacked one that wasn't quite right out and dropped it back onto the trailer. Yeah. Yep, and there we are, five minute warning. We're halfway through for Ban is using the loader on the truck. Interesting. He's decided to so we just ditch it for speed. The forwarder then becomes an interesting choice as a backup because I would have thought something like a high lift or a grapple to come in and be able to pick up six, seven, eight logs at once would have been a better and just drop them onto that trailer, yeah. Sitting. Well, just to have it sitting there as a as a choice, but you never know. He's pretty adept. He's done a good job with his first couple of four logs. So things are really Let's tight see. between modern logging and genetic over here, Ogs. Yeah, modern logging maybe just slightly ahead in terms of volume on the truck, but genetic's just throwing right. three on in one go. So interesting. Four minutes coming up to go alright now I'm just going to have a quick look at the map they do have a little bit of a tricky route to get down all the way down to the uh, cell point down by the roller coaster it's not a straight run down so it'll be interesting to see what direction they choose to go in I'm impressed with the speed of loading of Faban here got to say hmm. he's not hanging he's around is he good job. no Three and a half minutes remaining. These guys over here, Modern Logging and Genetic, are quite a way through actually getting all their logs loaded. Modern Logging's only got a couple left. In fact, Genetic's only got a couple left as well. So, again, are we going to see them choosing to cut down a few extra trees or are they just going to gamble on what they have being enough to take the win? Yes, indeed. Uh, Brett, you are correct. Six metres is the most profitable. Um, if you've got uh, the time to fill a trailer with six metres... That is definitely the dream scenario, um, but equally with the time against them, maybe going for volume, taking a slight hit on the uh, the actual profitability, and uh, there we go, yep. one logging away. He's off with that tree hanging over the edge, <laughs> can't even bother trying to correct that, he's got one hanging down and dragging, hopefully that's not going to cause him any issues. But he has headed off with just on two and a half minutes remaining. Genetic, I think he's picking up the last of his logs that he has available. So I imagine we'll see him head off as well. He's just, just struggling with one trying Whoa. to poke his way through the cab. On the Modern logging, the I think that, that log um, sent him a little bit uh, awry there. He uh, had a little bit of a spin out on the road, but he's recovered nicely. Oh, Modern Logging's rolled! Modern Logging has rolled. Oh, no. He is on his side just at the entrance to the bridge here. I don't know what he's going to do here. Is that the impact of that log hanging over I the edge? I think it might or? have had an influence on it because it's not particularly highly stacked. Mm. So, uh, oh, he's spinning around now. He's, he's kept his foot planted. He's fully blocking the road here, actually, so if anybody else is heading down here, they may have an issue as well. All right, well, Genetic is still loading, uh, and Faban is in the truck and off. He is heading down that way as well, so he's going to be the first one to come across modern logging. Of course, they'll have no idea this has happened unless uh, they're in voice chat and keeping some sort of communications up, but Genetic's in his truck as well. And he is off. We've got just over a minute remaining, so uh, I think we're going to see some penalties incurred here, and it's actually going to be interesting. I mean, we haven't really talked about it, but there's a potential to have three DNFs in a match. No one score any points. There is indeed. One minute warning left. Now, Modern Logging has unhitched and is flipping his truck as Faban arrives. But Faban cannot get through here, Args. Through no fault of Modern Logging, really just trying to get himself organised. He's uh, blocking the way for Faban. He's very kindly getting out of the way as soon as he could there. Right, and Genetic's about to arrive on the scene as well. And Faban is through here and now has taken the lead. And I would argue that whilst Modern Logging had more logs on, Faban's probably got a similar length 
uh, or similar volume, but is uh, mm. packing the uh, the six meter logs. He's nearly flipped his trailer as well for Ban, nearly rolling his trailer as well on the other bridge. And we're seeing a split here. Genetic is taking the track down. I think he is either going to go for the river run Where's Genetic or going? possibly jumping across and using the uh, river crossing. South cell point. Oh, yeah. South cell point. Yep. So now Genetic has taken the... He's not using the river. He's gone across and using the uh, sort of four-wheel drive forestry okay. tracks to try and get down here. Sort of cutting the corner off this in quite a big way because we are over time. We're into penalty time now. 20 seconds already gone. Oh, yep. I'm, this is going to be tight for either of these two making it to the final. Uh, looking in the background, looks like Modern Logging unfortunately has given up on trying to get that truck back up right it but let's just see what happens here right, i'm following faban here faban will definitely get to the cell point with time to spare but only just dogs he's running into the town yep. now i think he's probably going to have maybe 30 seconds left on the clock by the time he genetics. rolls in yeah genetics heading in from the other direction i think he will be very close as well he's actually gonna possibly get caught out having to wait for the train for a second here just turned around the corner. The train is going across the crossing. How quickly do the barrier arms go up? Oh, they still haven't gone up. Baban nearly rolled his trailer again, he's, but he's oh. uh, he was conscious of uh, that this time. And Faban crosses one twenty penalty for Faban, but he's first over the line. And I can see Genetic right. coming. Yes, so Genetic had uh, had a little bit of a delay with the train. He had to sort of sneak between the barrier arms, but he is going to get there just in time he is indeed about a minute 40 yeah 141 it looked like so both finished um that's the first time i think we've seen two teams finish outside the time limit uh, but still very close mm. so this this could go either way because their loads are very very similar i think in volume this could be the tightest one we've seen tonight it could be particularly when you count the penalties that are going to be occurred here that's right so Irish Connor, nice logging, to see you, mate. Thanks for joining. Modern, modern logging has very quickly logged out of the server. Probably a little bit disappointed yes. because I think he was probably in the box seat there. So some of that time pressure, potential time pressures that could have come with trying to get down here in time might have led him to being a little bit more reckless than he might have needed to be considering how advanced he was. But Genetic has sold his logs. We're just waiting for Faban to head on over and get his done. And then we'll have Hamish giving us the summary on who's won what the final numbers have turned out to be. Yes, indeed. Right, for man. Can he sell them both, or he might need to roll forward again for the rear trailer? No, he's got them all off. Right, we'll all wait just a couple of minutes to get the results ratified. This is going to be a close one, I think, Ox. Again, yes, I agree. I think it is going to be very tight. Whether that 15 seconds of extra time that Genetic took to get here, that's $1,500, that could be the difference. Yes, it is indeed. Right, I'm going to switch to my intermission screen and I'll quickly log out. Mm. We're going to log into second server now. That's right. Um, rather than resetting everything, we are going to jump straight into a second server and uh, go from there. So while we're doing that, we shall wait for the results as well from ARGS. Oh, Hamish. Oh, Hamish, not Args. You're Args. <laughs> I'm, I'm Args. You're <laughs> FSG. Hamish is the one who's done all the work. Yes. Indeed he has. Right. right. So. Login link two. No, logging in. Login here. And Farmer Hamish is typing in the chat here, so results well, are most coming up. <laughs> I think um, I think the first ones were probably a little bit obvious who had won the first three matches, but this one's a little bit different. It is a lot tighter, isn't it? Mm. Now, the next four matches follow the same four courses. We're going to start back. Lost Dogs is chat again. I think we'll side seven in the middle and eight up the top. So basically the same cycle that we just did. Yes, indeed. So while I my uh, 
Logging League gear on. Yes. <laughs> Gotta lift the part. You have indeed. All right. Wow. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness me. This is tight. Do you want to? This, this is, is tight. This is incredibly tight. So for Ban, obviously crossing the line with a 1 minute 21.2 penalty and was carrying $13,968 of wood. Uh, so with the penalty applied, um, his final score was $5,842. Genetic coming in a 20 seconds later, but had more logs on. So he had 16003 dollars of logs on took a slightly bigger penalty and has come in with five thousand eight hundred and twenty nine dollars adjusted so so close so close we're looking at thirteen dollars uh being the difference there unbelievable that that's ridiculous so faban does take the win out there by thirteen dollars and uh i think i'm going to take that as a very good justification that that was great. That was really, really good. Loving that. That's, a, that's an incredible result. It's incredibly, incredibly tight. And unfortunately, modern logging, of course, having that DNF coming through there as well. And I tell you, if modern logging had not had that issue, I think that would have been a very tight three-way uh, result there. It really would have been. Mm, absolutely. It was, uh, it was very cool, though. It's uh, great to see one that comes through and has such a difference. Could the train have been? The train, I reckon the train, the time that Genetic lost, having to slow down and wait for the train was the difference. Yeah, yeah. That absolutely <laughs> would have been, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, literally, the penalty difference is only a, it's a second. It's $100 a second, so. Yeah, so it would have been, would have been a win. Hmm, would have been. All right. Well, we are in server number two, and we're getting geared up to get back into some team matches. And the first one we're, well, match number five, we're going to see Logmeisters, who we saw in the very first match, coming up against Astragon Entertainment. Nice, Astragon, yep. But Calamaris standing here already, waiting to start. He's got his a very fetching Logging League polo shirt on there, and some cool shades, and a very nice cowboy hat. Hmm. Sponsors on the and back. Tobias from the Logmeisters is, is suitably attired on the other side as well. Loving that. Rocking the Logging League hat. He's gone for the health and safety gear. Man, meanwhile, for Ban's Ban's just gone on holiday. holiday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good one. Right. We'll just wait for the rest of the guys just to get into position and we will. Uh, and we will get started. Beg your pardon, Saran. Thank you for highlighting that. We'll go and have a look at Calamaris again now. You can actually see him rather than my <laughs> ugly mug. There we go. Beautiful Logging League t-shirt with our very generous sponsors, Thrustmaster and G-Portal, on the back. And Tobias over here is rocking the uh, Logging League baseball cap. And as Argy said, Faban just ready for the year. Uh, ready for the beach. Indeed. And here's Bauer as well. Bauer Mats is here. Ready to yes. go as well. So I think we're all in position. It does. I just looked on the map and I can see a couple of dots up at the... Up where the trucks are, up at the uh, sawmill. So they will be having to run pretty much diagonally across the whole map. About as far away as possible to get down to here, but we'll uh, leave it in Hamish's capable hands to kick us off, and we'll get into match number five. Yes, indeed, and Args again. Interesting choices of equipment here. Yeah, again, we've got modern logging. Uh, sorry, logmeisters uh, running the forwarder, yeah. um, and we see the high lift coming into action for the first time. So it's going to be interesting to see. That is the only means of loading. Are they going to use the forwarder, or are they going to load it straight from the ground onto the truck and just take advantage of that grapple that's on the forwarder, rather than that's using right. the forward, the actual loading of the the capacity of the forwarder? We shall see. We will. We will. Now, 
Bao Matsy just asked in chat if I could get a uh, team photo of them before they start, so we've just very quickly done that. <laughs> right, start as orders. We are under from Hamish. Yes, ready <clears> to go. <throat> Countdown is on. <laughs> this is very quick. Three, two, one, and go. We are off back into the very next match. There we go. A little bit of a delay, Bauer getting into his equipment, but he's away. Faban choosing to go across the road here. That's interesting. We haven't seen that before. No, it's a different tactic from what we had on the early match. Now, of course, they had the advantage, actually, the Lockmeisters. They played on this in the very first match. They're in exactly the same spot. They'll have a better idea on timing and duration and things like that so uh, whether that will give them an advantage or not we will see but we've got Val Matzi is heading in and getting the first tree cut down for Team Astrion no, it seems to be just struggling a little bit there with grabbing those just have to make sure hopefully hopefully they have all the permissions correctly attributed to them to be able to get started Baban having an issue with this cutting head again we're seeing it again Ox this is a uh Proven to be a bit of a challenge, so um, mm. let's see what happens. It is the small branches on some of these trees lower down that get in the way of the cutter head, yep. not letting it get around the tree. That is what the challenge is. So let's see how they resolve this. Yeah. We are a minute through already, and we don't even have a tree. Uh, oh. Don't have permissions. I wonder if that would have been the case. Right. Okay, reset. Re reset and restart, I think, would be the fairest decision here. It looks like um, it's like the guys have not uh, cut anything on this side as well. So I wonder if the best thing to do here is do a reset. I think so. Time has been paused. Hamish has paused the time. Whether he's just gonna, yep, no, he's calling a reset. So yep. we'll just have to wait for things to get back where they are. Uh, the trucks are almost here. I don't think we need to worry about letting them go all the way back. We can start them where they are. Get them sorted out here. This is one of the one of the difficulties. We've always talked about. Um, we've always talked about you know farming simulator league and comparing this to how that works. And uh, you know they have a client built to do this. We're trying to do this all in game with multiplayer and permissions and all of those kind of things. So. Um, yeah, we don't have the luxury that uh, the guys have, so there Let's we go. Make the best of what we can. So we'll get the guys reset. Luckily enough, nobody had cut anything down there, so um, we're in a... Uh, land put. Land's not owned, Hamish. The land is not owned by anyone. So the permissions are good, but the land is not owned. So we'll fix that. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> We've just broken the uh, world investment record by adding $999,999,999 into our account. Only it was real money. Only. Even better is it must be more than that because the uh, money's not going down as things are being purchased. <laughs> but we'll just get through this again. Just these teething issues, right? Here we go. Hamish has got that sorted. The uh, trucks are on their way. The trucks are actually heading all the way back, so we'll let them get back up to the sawmill. And then we'll be able to restart again. Just want to wait for the trucks there, Hamish, and get them, let them get to an equal position. Bail coin. It's like Bitcoin. I like it ultra zippy. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Right. I think we're just about ready. Let's just double check the trucks. Yeah, almost back. You can see them just moving back there. There we go. We might have to uh, buy a few bit more bits of land just to make sure that we cover that off. That should be fine. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll pick that up as time it progresses. Right, teams are ready here. Trucks are just pulling in. We've got one truck backing in. The second one is just heading into the shop now, onto the sawmill area now. 
So we'll be getting back underway in just a few moments. But uh, thank you everyone, I know it's very hard to interact with the chat, so again, thank you to everyone who is tuning in and catching the first round of Season 2 of Logging League. It's a pleasure to have you all here across both our streams. Make sure you've, uh, if you haven't already, dropped a thumbs up. And if you uh, want to get the best experience, try and have both streams running side by side. Mute one, and you'll be able to uh, catch action from a couple of different angles. Yep, well said, Ox. Well said. Yes, thank you all for joining. It is... Very much appreciated. No. And we've just lost Bauer, Matty. Bauer's had to log out. Oh dear. Connection issues for Bauer. So we'll just wait for him to uh, rejoin. And it will be all systems go. What do they call it? A technical intermission. Yes. We need, <laughs> some, uh, we need some elevator music, don't we? I've, I've actually been running that in the background the whole time. Oh, have you? Yeah, I decided I'd try it again. Very organised. Hmm. Here comes Bauer. He uh, is back. I'm probably fine that I've got a uh, copyright sound or something playing. <laughs> you know, I had Epidemic Sound, who I, you, you and I both use a lot of Epidemic Sound music. They commented on one of my videos the other day. Did they? There you go. Yeah, with, with the name of the, the title of the track and saying, you know, thank you for supporting them. Ah, there so, you yeah, go. That's pretty cool. Nice. Hmm. Iceberg, thank you. Excited to see season two of the league. Good to have you here, buddy. Right. Nice Hamish, is, oh, nice Hamish is saying okay in the chat. Bovine's just joined as well. Nice to see you, buddy. Thank you for joining, mate. Mm. Three, two, one. Fitting. We're off. Right. Second out, round, take two, match, yes. <laughs> match, match five, take two. This is the Logmeisters. Faban, Tobias, and uh, Schiffelmeister. Coming right. up against Astragon Entertainment, which is Baumatsi, Calamaris, and Major Malone. Hamish going through there buying a bit more land, but has got what we need done for this. And let's just make sure we're going to see some trees getting cut down any moment now. Bowers just there we go. Way for Barn onto the has first tree. This one. Unsurprising, no change in tactics. The uh, Logmeisters have headed over the road and doing what they were going to do, and Matsy's pulling out a very, very tall tree, just watching that fall yes, out of the skyline there. Yep. Uh, a decent, decent length. Now what are they choosing? They're going for, looks like, six metres. For the, uh, the ultimate length. Astrogum guys. Hmm. So what's going to be interesting for me is whether the Logmeisters can make the forward work this time around. Obviously they tried it in the first round, didn't quite work as well as they could have. But I wonder if that's why they've gone over the road and they're using the sort of more level area. Yeah. To be able to be easier to pick up logs and stack logs and work in. Bowers uh, in two minds as to what tree he takes next. He's pushed through a little bit further and is just trying to make a decision here. Elamaris has a full load in the uh, high lift up. And he's That's carrying the benefit of that around. thing, isn't it? Oh, it's phenomenal, yeah. Just in terms of yeah. volume you can carry. You can load a truck in two in two grapples if you if you've got a decent if you've got a decent pile, it should take no time at all. Hmm. Yeah. Now we've got um just interesting just commenting on this while we watch Matsy cut down a tree in there. Now Matsy he's uh, entered it solo this season as well. He has. So we'll yes. see him we'll a little bit later, later on, on in a yeah, solo match. Now that's the train heading along in the background, I'm not sure just where the trucks are. In fact, I can see the two trucks are just coming across the bridge side by side, so it's been a uh, bit of a drag race so far for them. Alamaris working well here to get the piles really nicely lined up when the truck oh, arrives. Major, Mer Major Melon cut the Schiffelmeister off at the apex of the corner coming up the road. <laughs> uh, are both heading up there pretty much line of stern. Clearly watching no the uh, Bahrain Grand Prix this afternoon. Yes. Here is Major Malone oh, just arriving. Yeah, and Schiffmeister very close behind. Yeah, I got caught out with the Formula 1 being, well, actually by qualifying yesterday, I was like, yeah, it's a day early. But, Thrown in. Hmm. Right. 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 Tobias had two logs standing, waiting, ready to go. 
So Schiffelmeister just drove directly underneath him. And uh, he's, he's actually positioned himself really well here. Oh, too many logs in. Oh, dear, it's collapsed underneath him. Oh, he had four logs perfectly ready to drop onto the truck and uh, it all fell apart. You should see the teamwork happening over here with Astragon. Calamaris picked up a huge grab of lo logs and as soon as he lifted it up and backed up, Major Mellon was reversing in underneath his grapple and they've dropped those logs straight in the back of the truck. So I've clearly been rehearsing a little bit of teamwork there, figuring out the best way to try and get things loaded up. It's nice to see. And Tobias is resolving the issue he had here now, just one by one picking the stuff up and getting it over. That would have been frustrating. Okay. Yeah. Now the other beauty of using the high lift is the ability to rotate that grapple on it through 90 degrees. So you can approach a load of logs, a stack of logs from a different angle and try and pick them up yep. a slightly different way. It doesn't have to be square on, which is exactly what we've just watched Calamaris do there. Again, Tobias struggling to lift more than maybe one at a time. You can, a couple at best, I think, is all you can do with the forwarder grapple. But um, he did a pretty good job. It is hard, though. This is hard. Compared to loading them into the uh, containers, there's another level of complexity to this. Hmm. Hmm. So just coming up on halfway through the five-minute mark, we'll get a warning soon for the teams. And uh, these guys are just going about their business quite nicely and uh, I think Calamaris is doing a pretty good job working with Major Mellon on getting the truck loaded. I think Tobias is slightly struggling here with the fact he's not on a completely flat surface so when the grapple's going down it's not, not grabbing the entire log the whole time. Alright, Major Mellon's had an interesting little issue there where a log's got caught completely up in the grapple. So uh, it's it stuck it in the there. Top, yeah. yeah, it wouldn't fall out when he un undid the load, so I'm sure what he's going to do here for that. Schiffelmeister and Tobias moving to a different position here. Oh, Major Mellon had to react very quickly to avoid a collision. Next to Schiffelmeister. So with four minutes left on the clock, Bauer, Matsy going for another cut there. And if we pan back to here, Tobias working with that uh, forward a grapple to get some more logs onto the uh, onto the trailer. Faban is working hard here as well to get as many trees as possible cut down. Um, I can't tell who's got the most logs. It's pretty close again, Ogs. Pretty close again. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think it's quite a hard one to call at the moment. Calamaris has finally managed to weasel that log loose, the one that was stuck. It has a few more up in there. We're coming down to just on three and a half minutes, or just under three and a half minutes remaining. So we'll be going again to the uh, cell point up by the fuel station, so they've got to drive through the town, back up uh, towards oh, no. the other end of the map. Calamaris is throwing logs everywhere, not one of that grapple went into the back, and that's the disadvantage sometimes of this high lift. With the yeah. containers, it was, you know, you just had to point the log into the back and it'd get picked up, whereas with this, you've kind of got to have them really well loaded in and nice and straight before you drop them into the top of the trailer. So let's see if we can get these ones in. Right, decision made. Schiffelmeisters away. Logmeisters are All right. made, a, made a run for it. They had more logs on the ground, and they could have taken more logs. They chose not to. There are logs. Right, Major Mellon is the off as well. He, he has raced down the side of the hill. He's got logs hanging all over the place. Yeah, I'm seeing a little bit of that as well. Hopefully he doesn't roll. No, he's got out on the road, but the logs are dancing on the back of yeah, the trailer. I've we've got disco logs here before. as well. Yeah. But they are strapped down, so they shouldn't go anywhere. They shouldn't cause any no. major issues. I think it's just a server issue. Laggy. Are they uh, are they well stacked? Are they just they are sliding around good. the back? Yeah, they're pretty yeah. good. I mean, they're not perfect, uh, but uh, they seem to be doing their thing. 
Actually, as, right, well, as I've zoomed in closer, Args, they, they seem to be behaving a little bit more. But That's us right, uh, one, just under our two minutes warning. I think the server might have just refreshed itself a little bit because certainly the ones on Major Melon's truck are now behaving a lot better too. I was only about well, three, four hundred metres between trucks here, so they're not too far behind each other. So again, we could be looking at volume being the uh, deciding factor here now. I would think so, with a minute and a half left on the time. Right. I'm pretty certain both teams will make it to the finish line without any penalties, so it will come down purely to a uh, case of who has the most wood on the back of their truck. Now, interestingly, the Logmeisters went for shorter. I think they've gone for six metres. So there, yeah, there's just going to value-wise, it could be worse, worth more to them um, than the longer logs that the uh, Astrogan guys have gone. But we shall wait and see. Mm. It is going to be close this one. Just coming down on a minute to go. Looks like Schiffelmeister is about to turn down the road towards the final destination. Yes, and indeed. Major Mellon is uh, not too far behind at all. And Schiffelmeister crosses the B, but around about 40 seconds before the timer runs down completely. Um, oh, Major Mellon is just turning down now. Hopefully he takes a little bit of pace off the truck he has. And coming through with about 20 <laughs> seconds left, I would imagine. That is an impressive load. Look at that. Ooh. That is showboating over the line. That is impressive. <laughs> Love that. He crosses the line. 21 seconds left on the clock. Schiffelmeister's hiding in plain sight. He's tucked himself into the uh, landscaping there. But we'll get That's these guys right. to sell these loads now and we will um, we'll get things sorted. We will. Get a bit of super strength on that, boys. You'll be able to write it. That's fine. Post-game. Logmeister selling theirs just now. And Hamish, right, Summer Hamish is going to come in and <laughs> take control of the situation. Super strength that back onto its wheels. Obviously, they cross the finish line, um, so um, no issues with uh, delays or anything here. We just need to sell yeah. those logs now. So. We'll get them done, and then uh, we'll see what the results are. All right, there we go. Uh, back up on all fours. I mean, in terms of professional stacking, um, I'm going to say nothing. But hey, ah. if it fits, it ships, right? That's right. Major Mellon's going to get across there and get those sold. Now, Farm Sim Tim, who's just popped into chat, uh, who made the Conservation Agriculture mod that I reviewed a wee yes. while ago. He's also made a, he's also made a logging mod, a uh, forestry helper mod, which is pretty cool, which came out at the same time. But he was just saying that the game grants the maximum length bonus for anything between 6 to 11 metres. But the longer the logs are, the higher chance of being slightly crooked. That's why 6 metres is the better ah, log to use. Ah, there so you go. If you're cutting a nice straight piece of wood, 11 metres is actually not going to penalise you too much. So thank you, Tim. Thank you for that yeah. little bit of information. Good bit of insight there. Thank you very much, yeah. Mark Haythorn as well, for your sarcasm in the chat. I will, uh, I will bank <laughs> that one for another time. <laughs> uh, are you getting picked on for once instead of me? Yeah, well, it does make a change. You've, 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 had it, uh, <laughs> you've had it tight the last few weeks, haven't you? Yeah. Right. We are going to jump right, over. I'm talking already. So let's just have a look oh, here yeah. and see what comes through. Here we go. Um, and just talking about next in a match, heat number six is going to be another team's match in modern logging versus power team esports. Uh, but there we go. Results are in. And of course, no penalties from either team. It has come down purely to who sold the most wood. And Logmeister is coming through 16000 so 300 $39 worth of wood have been pipped at the post by Astrogon. Well, actually, it's not really pipped at the post. 22917 So purely on profit, Astrogon have sold almost 50% more than the Logmeisters did. So wow. quite a big victory there. That's interesting because in actually, on the, on the face of it, visually, I would mm. have suggested that Logwise that didn't look to be too much of a difference. But again, to Farm Sim Tim's point just there, actually the longer logs... 
uh, if they're straight logs, limited uh, uh, penalty for uh, having them in there. So That's there right. we go. Yeah, hundred percent. The longer logs All paying right. well, paying dividends there. That's it. That's it. Now we're not have too far to move to the next one, just up the hill, and right. I can already see. I jump back to our match screen. You already see the teams sort of dancing around here. We've got the two from Power Team Esports and two from Modern Logging. There we go. And I can yeah, also see two go. little player markers up near the trucks. So I think, uh, thank you, gentlemen, or thank you, players, for progressing into the next match so quickly and being all ready to go. It's going to be a good, good one. Don't have to listen to us dribbling on in between matches too much. <laughs> filling. <laughs> filling time. Is that how they say it in the industry? Filling yeah. time, right? Let's just fill. Fill for a few minutes. <laughs> we might just have had a last minute equipment change. Not sure yeah. what was going on there, but just make sure we've got super strength turned off as well. We will disable that. Right, there we go. Monologuing bringing in that bigger harvester I think right. on logging ready to go power team mm. esports the second match well both of them for the second match in uh both of them for the second one yes that's right of course, Power Team Esports coming off the back of a victory. Modern Logging uh, lost their match to Pinnacle Loggers first up, so sort of opposite ends of the table right at the very minute, but interesting to see. We'll just uh, let Kigarino sign in, and then we'll be under Hamish's starter's orders. Yes, indeed. Scooter's saying he's waiting for an FSG Argsy Logging <laughs> wrap-off. <laughs> I think it could be a long time till you see you, that. You, you can start it. <laughs> uh, I've right, got a few players locking in, which is uh, good. They'll be in here ready for the next match. They will indeed. Oh, excuse me, you're in here. It's been a long couple of weeks. I was going to say it's been, you've had a uh, busy few weeks, haven't you? Yes, indeed. But glad to be back. It's amazing how when you have when you don't have time to play or you're away, how much you you actually miss it. So we're really looking mm. forward to coming back to, for this tonight. It's been great. Nice, and uh, I suppose we'll be able to get into some Aussie farms again tonight. Yes, indeed, sir. Yep. Or or in, in the morning for you. Yep. We will. Right. Looks like our players are in position. Hamish is here, so keep an eye open for that countdown in the chat. And we'll be good to go. Yeah, we will be. We've got uh, Oblix and Velo from Power Team Esports here, Modern Logging and Colby from the Modern Logging team. Now jumping around, ready to go. Wait for Hamish to get things all lined up. Now, if just apologies if I disappear for a second in the middle of this match. I've got my um, someone picking my son up soon, so I might just have to pop out and say hello to them very briefly. All good. I will fill. <laughs> <laughs> Dribble. <laughs> <laughs> and we're off. It's starting <laughs> underway. Immediately into their equipment and immediately splitting off. Looks to be in different directions. Velo yeah. has turned basically a full 180. Modern logging actually is just backing straight up and finding the closest tree to get in there and cut down. And that Velo is a straight tall piece of wood. Yeah, and I've got to say, I'd like to see Power Team Esports using that Rotney harvester. Yeah. Kigarino made a comment in chat that it was something to do with the arm on it wasn't as extendable or flexible as the Komatsu Harvester, which oh, is interesting. Uh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. They've done their research, haven't they? So They have. Yep, you don't become Season 1 champions without knowing what you're talking about. So Colby's already sitting there ready to get picked up. Oblix is kind of, he's just surveying the land, figuring out maybe where they want to park the truck. Velo's pulling out another log, getting ready to cut that down to length as well. 
Hudlocking just clearing the ground here, getting rid of a tiny tree just so we can get some of the bigger ones behind it. So yeah, uh, it's a clever tactic actually. Certainly, it's certainly better years. than uh, yeah, getting them in the way. I was just trying to see if I could see our tracks anywhere. They must be almost here, are they? Yes. Both trucks are actually come up the hill, and Jeremy's kind of pulled off to the side near his team, and Slowpoke is uh, just climbing up there with Colby ready to load straight into the back. So Monologging deciding to go for long logs here. Looks like uh, Power Team Esports have gone for the shorter 6 meter. So again, still two tactics, still two trains of thought on which is the best solution in terms of uh, length of log. And I think we've seen arguments for both tonight, haven't we? Yeah, we have. have. One of them is just like long hanging out. Very, very long way out of the back, I think. Yeah, uh, so it's like I'm just a little bit too far forward from the loading into it. Look, look at the number of logs that Oblux has in their grapple. It's interesting to see how many of those you can actually get to safely drop down into the back of the truck. He's been very, very cautious with the speed of release, yeah. and he's actually done a fantastic job. It wasn't just it's full that, open grapple. Just that last one. Which is actually unhooked very well, so it's a valuable log. I would suggest that would be a good one to pick up, but he's going to go and try and get four or five at once instead of wasting time just on a single log. I'll be sorting out that uh, overhanging log there at the back, so. There we go. Just a reminder there that we're heading to the south cell point, which is the one down on the edge of the river, not the one immediately below us. Velo's interestingly enough crossed the uh, crossed the track and he's come over to the same side as modern logging. Saw that, yeah. Just in spider tree that he thought was probably beneficial. Hmm. We haven't seen too much of that uh, sort of competition for trees mm -hmm. or anything. We haven't seen anyone trying to be a disruptor. We haven't. We haven't. Another good load here from Obelix. That single log though that you mentioned before, Ogs, just kind of. Getting in the way ever so slightly. Jeremy's mm. moving slightly to uh, accommodate Obelix, but this is, if he can get this in neatly, this is going to be a decent load. It looks quite good. It's all going to go in. Jeremy just giving him a helping hand there. Oh, one is off. Oh. oh. Right, these two here, I think. Working very well together. Indeed, indeed. And I've just come back over here after a little bit of a look at the other guys, and Colby looks to have um, had a few issues here with these logs, but he's fixing it just now. Yeah, they're hanging off the back a little bit, which is uh, unbalancing things just a touch for them, but uh, Power Team Esports actually, Velo is clear felling the forest, and he's going a long way now. He's targeted a log right over the little stream, or a tree there, sorry long way away and he's gone to grab and I guess he'll pull it right back over as we watch Oblix here trying to get another grapple in we are sitting coming up on five minutes to I'm go sorry, yeah. almost halfway through half distance and there's some good piles of logs on trucks already here I think it's probably the best we've seen at the halfway point yeah oh look at this look way that Oblix has got these pinched in oh, is he gonna can he can he if you can get this if you nail this one this is gonna be a huge step forward for them yeah. Oh, he's drop just in there. Let it, it go now. Well done. Smashed it. Great work. Problem is, he's boxed <laughs> Unfortunately, in Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but there you go. Some communication. Jeremy gets out of the way. And again, back yeah. over to modern logging. This is a load, an impressive load with a longer length of log here. Um, so let's see what happens now. Oh, we're still going yeah, for we're the... seeing a bit of same type of logs there's a there's a pile of gray logs here i don't remember the names of them off the top of my head it's spruce but he's definitely going for the brown ones i think they're a higher value aren't they to be honest mate i cannot remember yeah, i, I do know that there's a difference but not off the top of my head right four minutes to go uh, well, I think we're going to see a couple of really good loads of logs coming out of here this yeah. is uh, going to come down to value i think we're close enough to the sell point that Timing-wise, they've got a good number of logs loaded, 
they're both going to feel confident to be running down there and selling without having to try and squeeze out the last few seconds of time. Uh, Colby's just quietly gone about his business loading this truck. I've kind of you know been watching the rapid growth of the load that Power Team Esports have, but Colby's just uh, gone about his business. And doing a great this job. Is, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, doing a great job. This Logan's. is going to be very tight. Very tight indeed. Hmm, I agree. I was going to say, um, it's a Power Team Esports load is pretty spectacular too. Now they've got a slightly, right. have they got a slightly smaller trailer? Have they got the same size trailers? Oh, I believe they're the same size trailers. Yeah, yeah. no they are. Keep all drain out of battery. First world problem, so much. <laughs> Alright, so that'll be our warnings coming. We're coming up on three minutes. There we go. Hamish has given the three minute warning to the teams. That one disadvantage is, unless they're running their own timers independently, is there's no way they can have a timer on the screen like we have for you for the uh, for the viewers. They are purely going off Hamish's information. Right, looks like Modelonging are away. They've decided enough is enough. Although Slowpoke is, is stuck, stuck on the stump. Slowpoke is stuck. stuck the now this is the challenge with the triple axle rear uh, truck. It, just if you if the weight is off, you can get. And he is stuck on this uh, rock. He's on here. a big rock. Yeah, he's been battered off go. by mod logging there. That's all, right. all equipment is leased. There. All equipment is leased and returned in an as is condition. Uh, it looks like Jeremy is also left. I didn't see him sneak out. Oh, he's, he's gone off out the other end. Bottom. Yes. Now, one thing we've seen tonight is a few flips on the roads. If you're not careful going around these corners, these are not the best when it comes to uh, taking corners at pace so that's right two minutes left that for uh, tightness they're both coming out on the road pretty much line of stern yeah two and excellent yeah loads, interesting yeah. it is two very good loads and it's going to be interesting to see how the difference between the two length of logs pay, plays out with the uh, final income because I don't think we're going to see any penalties we've got a minute and a half left and they're just about on the sale point now alright I will be back in just one second I'll let you call out the final little pieces here as they get across the finish line no worries Ox, now I'm Power Team Esports, for me on the face of it, look like they have more logs on their truck but we know that they've gone for slightly shorter logs compared to modern logging. So let's see. Modern logging crossing the beam at 103. With Power Team Esports come in just behind them. I think they're probably a six second difference. So in terms of penalties, there are none. So it's purely down to who sold the most. Let's see how we go here. So monologuing first over the sell point so they're going to sell straight away and then not see those numbers either but uh we go power team esports guys moving into position i think that's safe to say it's probably the biggest load we've seen of the night so far but let's see what the guys have done could this be a second win for the power team esports team We'll uh, wait for those to be calculated by Hamish in the background. Uh, next game up is going to be Samu versus Modern Logging versus Gaming with James or James Sim. So uh, we are going back to solos again after this. Two more rounds to go, and uh, that will be us for the first round. So uh, we'll just wait for Hamish... We have had a, a one withdrawal tonight, so the last uh, solo game will be just a 1v1 scenario, but uh, that's totally fine. We can still make that work. But uh, Hamish is typing in Discord at the moment, so I'll be able to relay these to you in future episodes or future rounds. We will have the scoreboards back up. We had a little bit of an issue with the scoreboards tonight, so we'll make that uh, make that better. But uh, whilst the guys are dropping from the server, making space for the new people, here we go. Power Team Esports. 
um, coming in with 57 seconds left on the clock, had a total of $31,439 on their truck. And Modern Logging, uh, crossing the line just a few seconds ahead of them, at 102 left on the clock, uh, were carrying $26,188 of logs so with that in mind power team esports take the win with the larger volume on their truck uh, good volume of good volume of uh, wood from both teams though that's fantastic so great round that um very very um well played by both of them no issues just got around they got on with their work very very well and that is sorry about that. back welcome back mate i'm back <laughs> yeah i'm just looking at the results here so uh yeah Good, good load of logs. I heard you saying. Yes, very, indeed. Um, very big numbers. Yep. Just yep. scroll, just scrolling back up. Uh, Pinnacle logging got thirty three thousand dollars earlier on, but uh, that's still thirty one thousand twenty six. Very impressive. That is a that is good loads from both teams there. Yeah, and that 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 was a that was probably the slickest operation from both teams on the same uh, on the same game yeah. that we've seen so far. Yeah, and Power Team Esports will be very happy to be walking away with two wins from today. That is two a wins great result out of two, yeah. Mm. Right. We'll let uh, the final few players log in for the last two solo rounds. Yes. Um, and we'll get yep. those two to go. Put to bed, and you can go about the rest of your day, evening, afternoon. <laughs> Oh, I think uh, we think we might have um, a bit of a change. I think uh, Bauer Matsy is going to be replaced by Kegarino in the uh, in the final heat. Maybe we shall see. All oh, right, you picking that up on Discord, eh? Well, I see Kegarino saying it's actually me oh, right. FSG in the chat, but uh, yes, Bauer's Bauer's yeah. had to drop from the solo, so um, right might be a one v one v one, or it might just be a. A straight. Well, Kikarino head -head. was going to take. Kikarino was going to take James's position, wasn't he? But uh, oh, maybe it's Kikarino for match, round so maybe James. Yeah, James might stay in his spot in round seven. Yeah, and then Kikarino take Bowers round round eight position. Yep. Anyhow, well, it looks like Anyhow. Keg's lined up here for round seven, but maybe James can drop in and take Bowers place in eight. I'll let Hamish sort it out in the background because he's not got enough to do. <laughs> yeah. Uh. But our guys are here. Modern logging, Keg and Samuel are all ready to go. Hamish is here. Equipment is sitting ready to go. So I think we're not far right. away from starting round seven here. Exciting. Things are uh, things are progressing very nicely. Go under starters orders. What fascinates me is how quickly they get their head around the challenge. And you know, even that last round oh, yeah. was so slick. Yeah, you yeah, know that was it was working very well. You could see the communication coming through from Power Team Esports with the way they were loading. Uh, Colby just going about his business there. It's just, uh, yeah, it's very interesting. It's exciting to see them adapting to the different mode of game. Yes, indeed. Um, and yeah, I don't know about what you say, but I think the uh, variability of the trailers and having the cell points has uh, added just that little bit more excitement and the time limit too the time limit is definitely definitely i think working definitely i mm. think it's been it's been interesting mm. it's been interesting and i like the the speed if we can just narrow the gaps between games down um we can uh, the, that's right the speed of turnaround we can get a lot of games done as well which is good yeah keeps yep. the people entertained that's right <laughs> Right, modern logging started. First log done. Samu over the other side. Same position. Keg trimming his first log as well. Although he's uh, sitting across the uh, road here, which there's enough space for trucks to get around, but. Um, hmm. He's think... also adjusted his log length first cut, so yes, he cut indeed. the first one a bit shorter. He's uh, tweaked that to take a slightly longer load. And of course, the containers were limited. I think six meters into a container was the optimum. Whereas here, obviously, he was talking about the maximum length between the six and eight meters, uh, six and eleven meters, gives everyone a lot more flexibility. Particularly because the trucks will take those longer loads as well. That's right. That's right. 
Modern logging working now, I'm at some pace here. Mm. I'm intrigued to see Samu's approach. He's tried the truck loading methodology uh, a couple of times. It worked for him in that second game because of the uh, failure of modern logging, the crash their modern logging had. So it'll be interesting to see how they adapt here, whether he goes for the same technique or whether he might go and use the grapples on the Volvo loader. That's right. he has. Yeah. And interesting, I've just... Uh, that grapple seems to be a lot more... Uh, um, will, will handle a lot more logs, so... I can imagine it being the quicker route. We shall see. We shall see. Yeah, that's right. There's obviously that's some right. some thinking going into it. Um, so let's see if it translates into a result. Hmm. Got to give a big shout out to Kieland for the five gifted memberships. Thank you very much, my friend. That is very kind of you. Nicely done. Yeah, Kikarino's just going about. He's pulled up into the trees a little bit further, so he's left a bit more space now on the road for trucks to get through. Just looking at our time, we are a quarter of the way through, just on that seven and a half minutes. And I'm seeing Kig is out of his processing unit, out of his tree harvester, and he is jumping into the Volvo loader. And he's wow. going to go and start getting some trees loaded. It's gone early. The modern logging has got a fantastic pile of logs here. He does, however, have an interesting stone here which may impact I don't know maneuverability or something he's decided to stop as well he's getting stuck into his truck everybody's starting to think about loading here kegs got an entire tree ready he's he's done a great job picking up that first load I wonder now with the change in the tactics with the time and all that sort of thing how much people are going to react to seeing others going and starting to load yeah yeah, Previously, right. it was all about trying to fill your container, so you had to get a certain volume of trees cut down. This is more about trying to make get as many trees as you can within a time frame. So, that's yeah, right. I'm intrigued to see what happens. Keg's got his first few logs on. He's got one or two that haven't gone down into the middle of the trailer, which he's trying to rectify. He's also got a little tree behind him, which isn't making things as easy for manoeuvring. Well, modern logging has just started loading, and he is going at some pace, Ogs. He's a bit of a master with his He's... grapple anyway, so... Uh, yeah, he is one of those, isn't he? That's pretty good. Meanwhile, Samu's sort of playing. He's still got six minutes. We're only just sort of four minutes in. He's... Uh, Taking down a lot more logs. This pile is not as neat as some of the others. But as I say that, he has headed up towards his truck. He's going to go and grab his truck, which says to me that he's going to persevere with using the truck as his loading methodology. But we'll just wait and see what happens when he gets down here. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I'm watching modern logging here. Not had it all his own way, but um, he's getting a good amount of logs on here. Now, the challenge with modern logging is... is He's about to finish loading his truck. A couple more good loads and he'll be done. And he will be still sitting at just half time. So does he go for another couple of trees? Or does he just uh, go for it on the time? Hmm. Well, it'll be interesting to see. Now, some of us persevering with loading his truck here with the grapple on the back. Okay. And he's done a pretty good job picking up his first three logs. That's a very tidy effort. Oh, I can see it just off the corner of my screen. Yeah, very nice. Now, it's worth saying there's no there's no bonus or no benefit to getting to the to sell point too early. Either is there, Args. You don't earn extra points oh, no. for dropping off your logs early. So, again, it is a real fine balance between how much do you load up without getting a penalty versus arriving three minutes early and uh, yeah, feeling like you've missed out on the opportunity to get another tree or two. And now modern logging back into his cutter. I think he's going to go for another tree. With four minutes left, I think he's going to go for one more tree. I think that's a sensible choice. Uh, yeah, it is an interesting conundrum to have because obviously you want to be finishing bang on 10 minutes using that whole 10 minutes to be cutting, loading and delivering, not getting there with a heap of extra time, but the penalties are such you don't want to be too far past that 10 minutes if you can avoid it, because that extra log you put on might be worth 500 bucks and suddenly you've got $1,000 worth of penalties That's right. before That's you right. know it. So. 
And of course, the vagaries as well, you know, that's not an equal distance to any of the delivery points, depending on what course you're playing on. So from here to the cell point is going to take a certain amount of time, but from one of the other areas might be a little bit different. So the time you decide and say, that's it, I'm loaded, I'm out, will vary depending on where you're playing from. Well, I've got to say, Arg's modern login has almost faultless run. He is in his truck. I think he's going to go now with three minutes on the clock. He's out of here. He is gone. He is gone. Now they're going up to the uh, the upper cell point near the fuel station. And there you go. There's uh, Hamish with a three minute warning. The monologue has got time In here. He's not going to make the same mistake he did last time. He's going to drive more cautiously, I think. Hmm. Which will be interesting, actually, because I know that the best way to get to the north cell point, the fuel one, is not the way he's gone. In fact, Kigarino is also, even though he's got some logs sitting on the ground, he's jumped into his truck and he is on the way out. Yes, he is. Uh, not the neatest load. He's got logs hanging out left, right, and just about centre. But he's on his way down there as well, so I'm just going to hang out here with Sammy for a little bit and let Kig's go and do his thing. Nice. Monologuing out onto the Just bottom road now, driving very cautiously around the corners after last time. Uh, all right, two minutes to go, and Samu's still here loading. He's doing a great job loading. If we were giving points for neatness, he'd be uh, our champion. Right, train has just passed as well, ah. Arg, so it's not going to have any impact, I don't think, with either monologuing or keg. All right. And so we're in this interesting point. Samu's basically... He's in his truck, he's loaded, he's off. He's got, need be, what is there, two, four, six, eight, nine. There's nine logs he hasn't actually loaded. So interesting. Oh, yeah. and he just about rolled his trailer. So while he's going to make it out in time, he's certainly not going to be uh, profiteering as much as the others are, so. Right, I'm having a little bit of a, a, little bit of a bounce on the server here. I can right, see Keg as well. crossing so higher up. Cool. I'm just rushing up here to make sure I get Keg as he crosses the finish line because Keg's definitely taking the shorter route here and will be crossing the finish line just about now with a minute to go on the clock. So Keg taking a different route as even though he left later, the modern logging has arrived mm. a good, good amount of time ahead of him. Modern logging coming up the hill yep. here. I'll tell you what, Samu might go very close to beating him too. Alright, just see I just see modern logging going across yep. the T intersection, but he's certainly considering how much longer he left before these guys has definitely taken the longer route. That's right. To get to the cell point, but we're coming down with thirty seconds to go. I think Samu's judged this pretty perfectly from a timing perspective. Oh, I just hate well to say it, but modern I think logging his as well. Methodology. His methodology for loading might not have paid off for him, but crossing the line through there, that's pretty good. 15 seconds, 16 seconds left. So now it is going to come down purely to who has cut and loaded the most. And uh, I think it's going to be a, another tight one. It is indeed, and I think, I genuinely think uh, modern logging might have just um, snatched this one because he has a serious amount on his uh, trailer. Well, it's just whether that extra tree you cut down too could be the difference. You it know, could he took be. the time to go and cut down one more and load it. So we'll just have to wait and see what he comes through with. There, his, his load sold. Kigarino through next, and we'll have Samu following as well. Of course, with no Kicks penalties did very well to, to calculate. Get the truck down safely. Yeah, he did. He has no penalties to calculate. So yeah, with no penalties to calculate, we should get the results relatively quickly. There we go. Keg sold. I've got to say, I do like the look of that truck that Samu uses, that man set up. It's a nice, uh, nice combination. Nice to bring some variety too, but unfortunately, I just don't think he's managing to get the logs on that he would like to, but... Someone left a wheel a load this. on the main road. Oh no. Let's have a look if we can spot where that is. There it is there, I can see it. We'll move that. Thank you, Modern. We will. Now, uh, Hamish has just pointed out, although there are no bonuses for uh, arriving uh, within time, or certainly 
you know, there's no benefit to arriving three minutes early to the uh, sell point compared to bang on the ten minutes. There are bonus points. There is a single bonus point that can be mm. added to the tally for the season if you finish within yes. the ten minutes. So all three of the guys here getting their bonus point. Yep. Uh, I'll head. be back in just a second again. Sorry. No worries, Args. So um, we'll just wait for the results here. Looks like Hamish is already typing, so that is good. Um, my gut tells me it's going to be modern logging followed by Kegarino followed uh, finally by um, Samu, but uh, we shall wait for the official results to drop in before we jump over for our uh, last game. How long does this go for, Curtis? You've got one more round, mate. You've got another 10-minute round, and then you can go clean your house, buddy. But I appreciate you hanging out with us. That is uh, that's very kind of you. Much appreciated. Right, here we go. Results are in modern logging. Coming over the line with 25 seconds to spare, $24,000, 447, uh, uh, which brings him in in first place. Kegarino coming in, minute left on the clock, um, $18,306, bringing him in second place. And Samu bringing up the rear, 14581 so really close, actually, in terms of uh, volume compared to Keg, not far behind him at all into third place so um congratulations guys good round all round there um curtis when is the next one we're trying to do one um once a month we might do one at the end of march actually to to we started a bit later this should have been the february round but due to holidays family stuff trips away all manner of stuff uh, we're a little bit late so there will mm. be one at the end of uh, march um but then we're trying to do the monthly but there yep. we go. Um, Modern logging, Args. Yes, I just saw the results. Did come through there with the victory, which is very nice to see. Good yes, on him. Congratulations to them all. But again, like you said, some good numbers coming through there. Some uh, impressive, impressive loads being done in less than 10 minutes. So, the final round. Not bad that we've got through this in just over two hours. Um, hmm. one, of the, one of the feedback pieces from last time was um, that it... Uh, was quite uh, long some of the some of the rounds so one of the things we aimed for was uh, to try and uh, get things closed up a little bit quicker which is good now this is a 1v1 i think at the moment coelho and dj bob now look what's here the hannibal first time we've seen that All right, yes, uh, yeah. It's interesting, isn't it? There we go, under starters orders, and we're off straight away. No messing from Hamish, he was properly no, organised no. here. Yeah, so Coelho is a new member to the uh, to the teams. So nice to have him here in the solo, sir. He's managed to dupe himself as well, look at him. He's got a cheerleader. I was just, think <laughs> I was just thinking that, is he cheating by having two or not? We'll let him off. <laughs> but to have the Hannibal out, nobody has ever selected this. This is a first yeah, for logging leaks, choice. so um, nice to see another vehicle. DJ Bob must have been paying attention before as well, because he looks like he's taking uh, Baban's approach and he's out on the road loading things up. Hmm. Coelho just trying to get things lined up to get started. He's got his first log, or his first tree cut. One of the nice things about the Hannibal is you can uh, hold it high up in the air and move it to wherever you want before you uh, trim it, which is good. So nice to see that working. Up in there. Hmm. Yeah, always nice to see some uh, different options, different innovations. We'll see how it works, uh, and of course, two of the grapples as well. Or the, sorry, the front loaders, the uh, high lift, and then the Volvo loader there. So that's right. Another a bit of a variety. Did you bob onto his second tree here? And he's got a nice pile sitting on the road here. We got DJ Thank Bob, you, who came in a little bit later in season one, didn't he? So um, nice to see him back for round two. Or yeah, two. and he, uh, he certainly t 
took a took a couple of goes to get up to speed, but I think he certainly uh, challenged some of the others quite uh, quite seriously as he got his feet under him. He did, and he must have been bitten by the bug because he came back for more. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. It's good to see. And it's good to see some new players as well, Kello here, being a first-timer in the logging league. That's right. And here we're seeing the benefit of the Hannibal, so he's managed to carry that tree to where he wants to before dropping it, which will allow him to have some very neat piles of logs. That's a big tree as well he's got here. Huge. <clears throat> There's some weight in that. Here he goes. Excellent stuff, right. Mm, and again, I think... There's on the back of it, please. Push, uh, push logs up as well. Yeah, and Coelho's got the high lift, so he can lift a, a large volume of trees uh, with that as well. So this is quite impressive. Hmm. I can say I love just looking across and seeing a tree just tumble out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first time since the last round of Logging League I've been back on uh, Silver. I'm just reminding myself what a fantastic map it is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is going to be a tight round. The guys are doing well here. They are. Just coming up on what, six and a half minutes to go. Now I'm starting to realise why Did Bauer couldn't. Bauer had to pull out. He, he think he maybe saw the competition he was up against. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> the DJ Bobs are going off to grab his truck. He is going to go and start getting loaded. Obviously, take the time now, as we saw modern logging in the last match. Get your trees loaded, get your logs into the back of a truck, and if you've got time, you can then always jump back down, cut down some more trees, and make a little bit more. But there's no point leaving logs on the ground. That's right. Now, Coelho's blocked the road on this side. I was just wondering what DJ Bob was going to do, but he has tactically just decided to steer clear completely. It's not much of a, a round trip for him to loop around the other side. He's not going to lose any time doing that. So no. just playing, erring on the side of caution there. Yes. Guello is definitely going for the meaty trees here. He's picking the big ones. He's definitely got a tactic it's a, here. It is. It's a clever one. It's a bit of a downside to that is how slow it is, of course, being a tract yep. harvester. But like you say, just watching him drag that tree out, holding it up vertically getting it to a position he doesn't have any issues dragging it through he can uh, get it exactly where he wants it before he tips it down and he starts cutting it to length so yeah and i have to say you know it's you know we, we don't know anything about coelho we've not he's not played before he is completely new to this so um obviously we've seen some of the tactics from the other guys before but he seems to know very much what he's doing he seems very comfortable in this he does Look at those piles they're really neat Alright, so we are at the five minute warning. DJ Bob is over here in his wheel loader, trying to get the first of his logs loaded. Struggled a little bit there. He hasn't positioned his truck in a very helpful position, to be honest. Having to drive quite some distance from where he picked the logs up to then go and dump into his truck. Coelho's into his truck now as well. Args, he's just moving over into position and getting sorted. Hmm. To start loading up. And does show the uh, there's some real benefit to thinking about where you load things, thinking about where you park your equipment to be able to do it. Because I think Bob's probably cost him you know, potentially ten seconds of time on each grapple he has just to drive to where he has to. That's right. Keith Whitock in the chat saying it's nice to see some new ideas. It surely is, Keith. It surely is. Hundred mm, percent. And shout out Kellen again with another five gifted memberships. Thank you, buddy. That is very kind of you. Awesome. Right, let's see yeah. if Coelho's got as much of a grasp as as impressive as he was in the Hannibal. It's all about how quickly he can load up this truck now with a high lift, and he's about to grab almost half of his logs in one go, and it looks like a pretty neat pile as well. Well, DJ Bob's got a couple of logs already in at the back of his trailer. He's just getting in now with another three. Uh, he's struggling a little bit to grab the logs as neatly as he possibly could, but he's not doing too bad a job. Just coming up on three minutes to go, so these guys probably timed it quite well with when they've started loading. 
they wouldn't have wanted to cut it any finer. Uh, just have to remind myself which cell point we're heading to. The one down the very bottom, down by the river. I've got to say again, at Coelho, the size of the logs that Coelho's cut down are colossal. There's some serious money in this. If you can get all these onto the trailer, I think Bob's going to be up against it. Hmm. Yeah, Bob's got some good-sized trees here, but it's just to think his tidiness while he's used the road very well. He, his stacks weren't the tidiest, which has made it a bit harder for the grapple, for the wheel loader to pick up. But he's doing a good job of it. He's got them all in the truck. There's none hanging over the side yet, so he's not going to have any issues with uh, catching a log on a tree or anything like that. Well, he's not getting he it all his own way up. here. Oh, that's just dropped in nicely, though. So with two minutes ten left on the clock, well, is going to go for an entire everything he's cut. I think maybe he's going to miss one small one, but I don't think... Uh, Bob's in his truck, he's strapped his logs, and he is off. He's not going to grab the rest of the logs. Okay. He's got three or four that he hasn't taken, but he is moving, heading down towards the cell point now. Okay. I'll follow him. Good stuff, Coelho's just dropped the last of his logs in. There we go. Nicely done. These loads are similar in size, very similar in size, Ox. This could be very, very tight. It'll be interesting because uh, he's left himself a minute and a half. Is that going to be enough time to get down to the bottom? Indeed. Let's see. Now, this is the run that uh, Modern Logging managed to uh, flip his truck on as he came over the bridge, so... Let's see what happens. But I have to say, for a newcomer, very impressed. Hmm. He will uh, be sending some warning shots out to some of the other competitors, I imagine. He will indeed. And he's taken it easy on the turn there. Nice wide turn. He's used the whole road. Oh, that's, that's the racing line if ever I've seen it. And he still nearly flips it, but he, he was in control enough to be able to rectify it. Right, DJ Bob is getting down to the train tracks. He's turning right and heading down towards town. He's given himself 38 seconds from this point to get to the cell point. So uh, just mindful we do still have a wheel loader on the bridge. Well, over the second he bridge here. This is going to be tight. 27 seconds left. I think Bob's timed it very well. Even so, I think he's going to struggle to get there in time, but... I think he's going to definitely get there first, and this could come down to penalties. Oh, we is going to Coelho's going to slow right down there again. Lovely driving. All right, and there we are. We're into the penalty time. Bob's just turned around the last corner and is driving down towards the finish line. We're just going to get a time on him as he goes through, just on ten seconds, eleven, twelve. And stopping the clock at about 13 seconds, so he will take a little bit of a penalty, but Coelho's definitely going to have a slightly larger one, and that could be the difference. He Taking is. the time to load those extra few logs could be the difference between the two. Yeah. Bob's decision to leave some on the ground could pay off here. Yeah. And I think he's going to be in in around about 40 seconds. That's how he handles this last corner. Probably a little bit more, actually. Mm. 40 seconds already there, and he's still a good Five or six away. It's all good. Take on where he crosses the finish line. We're just ticking over 50 seconds now. 51, 52, 53. So he's taken about 40 seconds more penalties, which is equates to about four grand. But look at the amount oh, of logs Bob. on the trailer. That's an impressive load. Isn't it? I hadn't seen what he finished up with. That is looking very, very good. So this could still be tight, although the penalties are higher. So... So that extra wood on the on the trailer, he may have to hope that all of that compensates for the uh, for the amount of uh, penalties he's going to get. But let's see. Mm. Let's see. Right, it's his load sold. <clears throat> I certainly think he may get the prize for the uh, largest load of the night. For sure. Hmm. Definitely for the solos. And obviously the innovation for using the Hannibal too. Yes. So. And I wonder if there's a lot Something of people that... watching now thinking, okay, mental note for that one. Yeah, that's an option. All right, Bob is out, and we'll just see him sell his. 
And there we go. We're gone. We'll now wait for Hamish to give us the final summary on how these guys all went. Right. Interesting. Interesting. I'm excited to see the results for this one. Hmm. Coelho definitely mm. with more logs on the trailer, but a good 30 plus seconds of penalties over and above DJ Bob. So let's see. Let's see what the Real final benefit, is. Yeah. Dev, bug devil, that's what she said. Right. We are typing. We'll wait and see what Hamish writes for us in just a second. You can take this one away, Ox. Alright. Seeing I've managed to do you want to run away and go and hide somewhere for, <laughs> for it? <laughs> I'll leave Excuse you. Excuse me, we back in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I was telling you beforehand about our our car troubles we had around last night, and we'll mm. get to that in just a second. Right, Callow finishing with 53 seconds on the clock. He has sold $28,000 worth of logs, took a $5,300 penalty to end up with 22854 overall. Like you said, that was an impressive load. Yeah. Bob, 13 seconds over time, had $13,800 worth of logs, took a $13,000 penalty to end up with $12,500. So... Callow is our winner there by about $10,000. So that's a fantastic event. Fantastic first up a result for him. And uh, certainly does. I think that's that sounds some alarm bells. I'd be interested just looking back through some of our other solos. Modern Logging had 24000 So would have been a close match between them. And a little bit earlier on, from the same map we had Fabana and Genetic, only ended up with $5,800. So mm. they would have lost to both Callow and Bob in that one. So... Interesting. interesting times indeed indeed Boats that's going to shape up for the next round round two yeah um, we'll certainly will and nice to see uh, wow. how, how much dj bobs uh developed as well over the close season he was yeah. looking sharp yeah, there wasn't sure. he yep yeah he was yep no you, you've got some good numbers it's uh, a good effort for him particularly considering he had to wait around till the eighth round to, <laughs> to have a go so thank you mate for for hanging around yeah, same with callow actually indeed yes indeed appreciate you guys some of the others play in teams as well, so waiting for a solo is not quite so bad. That's right. So, there we go, Ox. Round one yeah. done. And, round, uh, some, round one is in the bag. Some interesting things to think about there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to round two already to see where the teams take things, where the players take things, and how they mix things up. That's right. Of course, round two is not going to be on this map either, so anything that I've learned today with travel distances, log selections, anything like that is completely out the window. Absolutely. They're going to be given a new map sometime in the next week to yep. uh, have some time to spend researching. But uh, yeah, equipment might come into play more. It may. It may indeed. Yeah, there's certainly some learnings from equipment tonight. I do think uh, mm. Bellows just maybe opened up a can of worms by using a completely different piece of equipment there. And I wonder if some of the guys were watching and thinking, mental note for next time. Yeah, good choice. Right. So, well, I think that's uh, that's us done. Two and a half hours. A few teething issues to start with and a little bit in there between, but eight rounds. I'm pretty happy with how that's all gone and uh, looking forward to seeing what comes in the future. Yes, indeed. Uh, Mr. Professor saying that was fun. Love the new format. That's great to hear. And, and obviously, nice fun. Let, us, let Argsy and myself know, either over Discord or in the comments, uh, what you think about it and uh, we will look try and try and accommodate any feedback and tweak things as we go along yep. i think um for, for one thing i think um having these timed runs definitely helps uh keep things moving at a better pace so uh yeah oh for i'm sure. pretty, yep. pretty chuffed with how that went to be honest yeah yeah absolutely so thank absolutely. you all. so thank you yeah thank you all of you who've tuned in and watched uh, across both streams and appreciate you guys being here thank you to all the teams and the solo players for persevering and hanging with us i know it was a little bit of a rough uh, rough start with some of the organization this week being a little bit last minute but uh we'll certainly be looking to improve on that for the rounds going forward so i hope you stick with us for that um yes, thank you hamish thank you to hamish shout out to hamish for all yep. his hard work and to mark for the timer mm. fantastic job mm. yes and thanks to you ox appreciate you uh well, hanging out you. yeah that's always good it's good particularly after a few weeks when we haven't really had a chat so. that's right that's right so well Hmm. Okay, thank you everyone. Oh, if you haven't left a like let yet, if you could do it on the way out, we would both very much appreciate that. And uh we will be back at the end of March for round two.
Um, you can yes, find the um, you can find the results from round one on the uh, the um, Discord. Discord thank you. Website. That's the thing. Discord <laughs> and the Logging League website, of course. We'll get them. We'll, we'll get Yost to sort the website out. Yep. yep. We'll get those updated for you, so you can go and check and mm. see. You'll be able to see. Obviously, round one is the league table at the moment as well. But as the further rounds go in, you'll see uh, see who's uh, leading the charge. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, mm. we will see you again at the end of March. Indeed, you will. Right. Thank you, mate. Everyone else, take care. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and uh, we'll catch you again soon. Thanks, Ox. Thanks, everyone. Take care. See you again. Bye. Bye, bye.